There's a right and a wrong way to love somebody. Yeah, I hit the record on your ass. They caught your ass singing. Yeah, boy. <laughs> I'm on that key sweat. <laughs> this is the sweat hotel. I'm about to. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I'm about to tell that nigga Devin what you singing. Hold on, we call De- we call Devin right now. Hopefully he answered the phone. <laughs> wow, that nigga's away. <laughs> Keep sweat and go play. <laughs> you better hope he don't answer the phone, bro. <laughs> nigga. That nigga Devin hate. <laughs> probably buying some coochie. You ain't lying. <laughs> Watch you don't know, answer. He probably buying some coochie. That nigga gonna hit you back tomorrow talking about it. Yeah, my bad. I was in the middle of buying some coochie. <laughs> <laughs> you got lucky. <laughs> you got lucky. He was gonna put you on that gill then, bro. You know you ate that nigga. <laughs> <coughs> you know you ate the fuck out that nigga, man. Man, that's funny. Anyway, man, we back. I think it's 5.33. I think so. Something like that. Something. Shit, something. it's 9.44, nigga. That's what time it is? <laughs> Oh yeah! Oh, hey man, you know man, I like to record this. At, I like to record this podcast at eight p.m. Man, so I ain't gonna say while we record at nine forty-four starting. It's a nigga with a hey 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 what's hey your hey, hat say? hey groovy. <laughs> nigga hat say Actually, groovy. he says grody, but <laughs> who's fucking grody? A local local. Oh, local. The, the the young lady. Yeah yeah yeah. Shout out to her. I haven't seen it. You probably ran her off. That's crazy, but possibly. <laughs> possibly. Who knows? This nigga Joby running people off. Bro. Hey, man. Nigga, hey, man. Nigga Ride nigga. the waiver. <laughs> 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 nigga said possibly. I was joking. Was hey. Hey, man. I respect the transparency. What they say man. is truth in every joke. Hey, man. I respect right. the transparency, man. <laughs> A real nigga. Yeah. But, man, we back. This the fuck Rory episode. Rory's supposed to be on this one. He he. See? We we tried to wait for the nigga. I stalled as long as I could. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, yeah, man, I'm pulling up. That's how he sound. That's funny. He ain't pull up, man. It's all good, man. I I had the Jeff Hardy, <laughs> the Jeff Hardy arm sleeve in elementary school. <laughs> <laughs> that might be why he ain't come. Cause every time he come through the the podcast. He always got like a viral wrestling. He probably couldn't think of one. Of <laughs> he was trying to work on an RVD one, and that shit just didn't, it didn't all the way curl over. So he said, "Fucking, I ain't pulling up." That's funny. You need to come with that Chris Benoit next time. No, I'm joking. <laughs> hey man, I don't stray away from clips, bro. You know, I drop a, yeah, I yeah. drop a nice Chris Benoit one, bro. I'm man, I'm gonna tell y'all. I think I've been talking about this shit every week for the last month. We need to run that uh, Dud Deal Devron clip again, dog. <laughs> that shit is so funny, dog. When that nigga was talking about buying coochie, well, he wasn't buying <clears throat> coochie. He was buying them videos. Oh, I put, I posted. You, you I, did, you did. I'm saying we need to run that shit back. Oh. <laughs> Boy, that one had me crying. Yeah, I posted that bit on TikTok recently. I don't know. For real? Let me see what it did. Yeah, you talking about this one, right? Yeah, yeah. One night, night I spent like $200. Yes. Yes. Right, uh, unfortunately, y'all yeah, had to yeah. add it. Honey, probably like my my max. Yeah. You know the saying? thing is, I'm though, thinking we talking really, about the same really thing. Subscribing to this bit and really was buying the videos because I really was like learning how to f- for real. Yeah. That's why I kept buying the videos and and no cap, like no homo shit was a dude shit that was <laughs> on that. It's a <laughs> male porn star or whatever. That's <laughs> you know I won't let it get close to no female I love. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real, he'd be fucking the shit out of there. So, uh, and then what, what made me? I didn't. I, I, I won't let man. I won't let the nigga close to no female bro. I love. That's funny as fuck, bro. I'm a bitch. I was so high when that nigga said that shit, bro. I was dying laughing. Somebody, in, somebody in the comments, they said the CIA couldn't have waterboarded me this info. <laughs> Got <laughs> this info out of me, bro. Bro, the nigga said I was learning how to fuck for real. <laughs> That's crazy, nigga. That is Paul, the most like, how insane. Do you, like, how do you, like, how do you, like, watch this shit? I don't know. I should have probably asked more. That nigga was saying with, put, his, with his foot up. Just, that nigga had his hands folded. That nigga said, hmm. You put the phone up and then you just be on the bed. Like, 
and then you just start demonstrating. I nigga gotta, got a, nigga I gotta got try a fuck this pillow. I gotta try this technique. <laughs> Pause, pause, bro. <laughs> we, I like to be real on here, bro. You ain't never been watching a porn and be like, I, I got to try that. Oh, yeah, yeah, for oh, shit okay. show. For shit show. Nigga definitely done seen some shit and like, oh, yeah, I'm adding that. But, yeah. but paying $200 oh, I ain't to, paying learn, to learn how to do some shit, X videos and showing for free. Yeah. I got to ask somebody that got an OnlyFans. I'll probably ask Alexa next time I see her. <laughs> I got to, like, do you, when the people buy the video, you got to see it. Like, you got to know this is your biggest fan. So, we got to, like, if you buying the videos, so a nigga probably, like, a nigga, whoever the porn nigga Bruh, was like, he nigga like, was like, this nigga gay. He like, let me see what my biggest fan of the month. Her name probably, her, her name probably Brenda or something like that. Devron. That nigga said, yeah, it's a That's a deal. nigga, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Let me block this nigga all oh, night. I wouldn't block him because you porn or well, porn niggas be kind of gay anyway, man. They be they be very gay, nigga. Yeah. I think I think it's like a requirement you go to a diddy party before you get in porn. Oh, that's insane, bro. <laughs> that's insane. But yeah, them niggas be like posting like weird ass videos and shit. Man, I had accidentally seen it was this one account. I can't think of it. I can't remember the name of the account. It's like tells you when like athletes unfollow and follow like weird freaky accounts. Oh damn. I don't know why you was following that or I don't follow it. So you you niggas that use Twitter know that it it's Elon Twitter. Yeah. yeah so it's yeah. the Wild Wild West. So you don't even gotta follow certain you accounts don't. no more. I you don't just follow see this no shit. porn accounts. I mean I do now. <laughs> Today I broke my but um, well, you don't have to. You gonna yeah, see yeah. I was gonna say, nigga, it was flooded. <laughs> like I couldn't open up Twitter in a lot of like I'd be in meetings opening up Twitter. Like, oh shit! <laughs> I, I hope they ain't see this. They yeah. took it off, but they used to have the shit with the sound. You could automatically. Bruh, play. first time I did it, that bitch was yelling, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I said, "What the fuck?" You was somebody around you, nigga. I was looking dumb as fuck. Ain't no way. No, nobody was. Nobody was. Somebody was Bruh, around you. Yes, nigga. I was in the middle of a meeting. I opened the shit up. I said Twitter crazy and just closed my phone. <laughs> Bruh, I didn't know what to do, nigga. I was looking stupid. So when I be out in public, I automatically go to the settings and turn the preview off. Bruh. But I, I, I was, it was somebody in here. They were like doing the creeping through the street and they were sitting down. And they was on Twitter, and they was, I seen like some porn or whatever, and then they looked at me, and I was like, well, I use Twitter, so I, yeah, I, I, yeah, I, know. I, know, I was like, I you don't got to be ashamed, I use Twitter, bro, so I was like, that's Twitter, he was like, yeah, and I was like, I already know. Bro, I ain't know what to say. Bro, you, just... could, you could legit lot, not <laughs> like no crazy shit, that shit gonna, li you gonna see titties and ass. Mm -hmm. No, you though. gonna see a whole pussy and booty <laughs> hole, nigga, like, yeah. nigga, the button is pressed, like, that shit crazy today. That yeah. shit crazy. <laughs> but yeah, that nigga done deal was wild. <coughs> I mean, like, I I was gonna ask this. When you started watching porn, was you like, <laughs> oh, this how you be fucking? No. Me neither. Like, I I just knew in my head when I started fucking, I got the hang of this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> watching. The nigga, bro, OnlyFans only been around so long. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, that's crazy, bro. The spin I thought you got a this that's, nigga was that's a grown than, ass man. That's worse than a gambling addiction. Yes, yes, very much so. Oh uh, now, hold on, I got the Philly homie hitting me up. He <laughs> trying to pod. Nigga, I'm already podding. Nigga. <laughs> 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 but yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the pod whole, God. the whole, yeah, the pod God. <laughs> but. The whole shit, I was kind of, I kind of fucked up because the first thing I watched, of course, was Cinemax, mm -hmm. and I he, I used to watch this shit. And I'd be like, I used, and I was like, bro, bro storylines crazy. First of all, the women they used to be up up here on the nigga humping. I'd be like, all right, bro, I know a nigga meet not down there because I gotta meet myself. <laughs> <clears throat> so yeah, I was like, yeah, that definitely not not going down the first time i realized cinemax be on some <coughs> bullshit they had like a a 10 minute 
it was supposed to be like a turn on kind of thing, like one of those foreplay scenes or whatever. But this bitch was riding a horse for like 10 minutes. I was like, if y'all don't get this bitch off this horse and put her on some dick, what the <laughs> fuck is going on? <laughs> That's crazy. Bro. Yeah, I was like, Cinemax ain't it for me. Nah, bro, that shit crazy, bro. Yeah, the Cinemax ones, yeah, the Cinemax, the Cinemax ones were all bad. Terrible. Like, Terrible. That's, that's, how not, that's how a nigga, you couldn't come out, you, you couldn't like, I, I, come I, straight out. You had to start somewhere. Yeah. Bro. yeah. Softcore. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. I remember niggas used to have a, I used to, I used to say no. Niggas used to share the magazines. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nah, fuck no. I, fuck like, no. Bro, I don't want to see that shit for one and then two. Nigga, you open that magazine, it'd be a bitch with a whole werewolf pussy. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> no, I, the niggas I knew had black women magazines, so bro, I ain't seen no shit like that. I went, I went to school you, on you the beach, hang, bro. I about to say, you was hanging out with crackers. Man, I went to school on the beach. It was only so many <clears> niggas, and none of them niggas had no magazines. You was bro. hanging out with crackers named Corbin. Man, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Corbin is funny as fuck. Man. And they showed me you one see, magazine. I was like, this what, turns, this what turns you on? Look at these honkers. <laughs> Look at the bush on that one. <coughs> I grew That's up around what you niggas. Want. They had niggas. I, I mean, whoa. Pause. They had, hey, bro. They had hey, black bro. people. <laughs> Bitch, you ain't gonna get hey, no bro. extra points. Put it on. That oh was my. crazy. They had black women that in their shit, bro. I it, seen like man. Lacey Duvall and shit in the magazine, bro. I hope somebody clipped that. Okay, dog. <laughs> they <laughs> had niggas. Clip it. <laughs> we fuck with niggas too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. Y'all know what I meant, bro. bro. I slipped up, bro. Bro, that was crazy. Y'all know I got CT and I've been talking that too was fast. Great. That <laughs> Birdman shit was so insane because he was like, nah, it ain't enough niggas. I was like, what? <clears throat> what that nigga said? That nigga Juvie said, huh? Uh, nah, uh. <laughs> I want some more ladies on. What that nigga Birdman said? I like to fuck in the ass while he beat up the pussy. Yeah. That's, your, that's y'all OG. Yeah. If y'all I, niggas I watch gangbang porn, you about you know you about gay. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I seen your girl did a gangbang scene. Who that? Who that? Who? Man, I seen your girl Willow Ryder. Oh man, she be wildin', bro. She had about nine on her. <laughs> nah, that's crazy. That's insane. That's you insane. you a big she Willow Ryder fuck- fan, bro? I am. You still gonna wipe it up? I don't know. She fought too many white men. I couldn't wipe it. Fuck no. I couldn't wipe it. Damn. But I fucked the dog shit out of Willow. Well, them nine niggas, they nah. fucked the dog shit out of her. Yeah, I believe I'm it. just playing. I ain't watching shit. I just seen, Sarah like the, I seen the message. You still got a chance, baby. Yeah. What happened to Sarah? I, did she retire? Nah, I don't think so. She just slowed. She, 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 she ain't going for that MVP. She ain't in the runnings no more. Damn, she might have you when you don't see a porn star for about eight months, they done had a baby. Mmm. Damn, don't put that on her. As long as I don't see her doing um um pregnancy porn. Pregnancy porn. Bruh. The fuck is that? When the bitch be pregnant still doing porn. I don't watch that. Me neither. I don't subscribe to that. Dog, uh, Kelsey Monroe, that white <laughs> bitch where I some dick, boy. But uh, she had she had did a scene like that. I was like, oh, you psh, X. Nah, bro. Struck a line through that name. <clears throat> I don't. Yeah, I done seen like some like after that. We probably. We bro, probably that was gonna say. Either. Yeah, I we done talked about. I see niggas. I mean, crazy. damn! I just said niggas again, bro. Yeah, you right, let me let me go and come out the closet, bro. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I see him just come over the chick. Nigga was ready to just... unzip the hoodie. I'm gay. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm, I'm a homosexual. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, bro. Let me I just... like niggas. <laughs> I got something oh, to tell man. y'all. <laughs> that would be crazy. ESPN reported podcast that. Damn, came out the club. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's crazy, bro. Nah, I had seen ones where like the after the girls had the kid, the kids, and you'd be like, I ain't even know the bitch was pregnant, right? And they be squirting the milk and shit. I was yeah, like, I yeah. Ain't, I ain't that freaky. Yeah, I ain't trying I, to see I, none I'm of a, that shit. I'm a freaky nigga, but I ain't that freaky. Uh, yeah, I ain't there. Yeah, bro, it's like it's like Menendez brothers freaky. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You got to be locked away, freaky. Yeah. <laughs> 
nigga watching milk porn. Like, yeah, Bruh. I'm good on that, big dog. I had seen, like I had seen that shit when I was a jit, like probably like in my mid teens. You know what I'm saying? For the first time, this chick was like squirting her milk, like. 10 feet away to a nigga drinking that shit on the other uh, on the other side of the room I was like ew I'll never watch this shit again nigga what was, what was you watching I don't know bro I was just clicking porn back there bro nigga was like, just clicking anything <laughs> I was like hey man she got some big ass titties click that bitch said shh oh, oh no you better be careful, bro. You might click oh, on something with no. an uh, attachment nah, to it. Chill out, nah, <laughs> chill out. <laughs> you nah. better be careful. Nah, I knew. I, when I say I was just clicking porn, yeah. I mean, I had my parameters set. A black woman, <laughs> nice ass, or some big ass titties. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, the titties got to be big. You know, you you ever yeah. seen Tyra Moore? Tyra Moore. Who's that? I think that was her name. Boy, that bitch had some big, dumb ass. It looked like two water balloons. Like, the ones you, you feel too much water, and them shits just sag at the bottom. I don't like that. Nah, they, the, her shit looked good, though. They was some big, bruh. Big, <laughs> big, big br- busty-ass titties. The bitches had some Dolly Parton titties. Bruh, them was some, some big, dumb ass. I don't even like big, big titties <laughs> like that. But, boy, when I seen them, it changed my mind. I say, Them that. ain't even titties. Them honkers. Yeah, for real, bro. <laughs> you like, these moon balloons. <laughs> <laughs> these, ain't, <laughs> these ain't even titties. You call what them. did you call them? Moon balloons? <laughs> moon That's balloons. hilarious. <laughs> This nigga on Twitter, <laughs> bro. This nigga named Two Cups. His uh, Two Cups Dose. Okay. I follow him on Twitter, bro. This nigga be saying the most <laughs> out of pocket shit ever, but this nigga funny. <laughs> you know, uh, you, you, remember, you know that little ass nigga? What's that little nigga name, bro? I'm disrespecting him, but he a little nigga, bro. His name Made in Tokyo. I've he heard the, the song, name. Um, I do whatever I want. I got to run in there and get it. He, he had one song. You he had I, song. Ain't I don't to know, no bro. He had like the that. song like I think he had a song called like Skateboard P with even worse. It was called Skateboard P with Big Sean. What would make you oh, think I had, listened to that record? He had the one song Uber Everywhere. Nope. It's You're called. Not, I, I've heard the <coughs> name. A you know, nigga name made in Tokyo exists. You know, twenty four hours is right. Yeah. yeah. It's his bro. It's his. It's his big little brother. Like it's his it's his big brother, but the nigga little one. <laughs> so it's big little brother. So he got a baby mama. She fine as fuck, bro. I, she get they got a kid, but I'll be the I'll be the stepdaddy that stepped up. I'll yeah. be the daddy that stepped up. Yeah. Her name is um. Damn, what's the bitch name? This uh, distorted, which is crazy. Distorted. distorted with two D's. Fine as fuck. Oh, she she do art and shit. Yes, I know exactly who you talking about. I used to follow her years ago. Fine as fine fuck. as I had to unfollow her. <clears throat> she was so fine. Yeah, so she got a OnlyFans, but she be man, she be what she do like a yeah she got an OnlyFans, but she be doing like nip slips in there. She got some big ass. She got some big ass moon balloons. So um, it was her birthday a couple weeks ago. <laughs> And this nigga retweeted it. He was like, happy birthday, distorted. She got top five pair of uh, sweater stretchers I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> That's a good one. She retweeted that shit. She said, nigga, don't. And she usually nice. She said, nigga, don't ever fucking say that to me no more. <laughs> she was like, what the fuck wrong with this nigga? <laughs> that nigga called her titty sweater stretchers, bro. <laughs> I was like, bro, what's going on? That's funny nigga? as fuck, bro. That's hilarious. Yeah, bro. That nigga was on. That nigga was wildin', bro. I was like, bro, sweater stretchers, bro. That's hilarious, bro. Yeah, that nigga, he be saying all kind of shit. I was like, bro, where you came up with this shit? <laughs> and he, yeah, he one of them niggas that be like, he be on, too on the scene with the porn. Yeah. Because like, randomly, like, it'll be like a Saturday night. And he, um, he'll post a picture, and it just be him chilling with, like, a porn star. <laughs> Nigga was with um. That's the life to live. Yeah, he live up there. Like I think he live, like live in DC. Uh, apparently, it's a lot of porn star being C, DC. I don't know if you ever heard of a chick. Her name is. Now, if you know who this young lady is, you you too involved in the game, bro. It's a chick, Puerto Rican chick. Her name is Show and Tell. She do shit. Can't that nigga that. was taking a picture with Show and Tell. I was like, bro, you you too far in the game, bro. You need to see that lady. <laughs> that's what, that's funny. 
Yeah, I was like, bro, <laughs> I was like, bro, show and tell, bro. You was watching fucking, um, what's that one shit called? Habib show. You was watching Habib oh, show, yeah. bro. If you watch Habib show, you a freaky yeah, nigga, you, bro. Yeah, you too freaky. <clears throat> yeah, you like them, you like to go to strip clubs with the strippers with the bullet wounds and shit like that. Yeah. Yeah. You fucking anything. Yeah, you watching, <laughs> yeah, you doing a Habib show? Yeah, that's, you, you too far in the game, man. But that's enough of the smut talk. Let's go ahead and get into this episode, man. We're gonna hit y'all. We're gonna hit y'all with the. Uh, we're gonna get y'all, give y'all the five moves of doom like John Cena at a house show. <laughs> 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 Me and Joe was talking about it. So what we thinking about doing? Man, we thinking about doing two episodes a week on y'all niggas. Yeah, man, we about to boss up. We think about so what we what we gonna do is so it won't be two episodes on the main feed. So we're gonna work, we're gonna work with it, we're gonna perfect it, man. So what we thinking about doing is on Mondays, it's gonna be a Patreon only episode. And it's gonna be a part of the additional count, like episode five, whatever blankety blank it is. Six blankety blank, whatever the fuck number it is. It's gonna be a part of the chronicle numbers. Yeah. It's gonna drop Monday. It's gonna be strictly on Patreon. You have to get a pay. It won't be one of them situations where it be on Patreon and y'all eventually get it. No, that shit just gonna be on Patreon and it's gonna stay on Patreon. But also, you'll still get the you still get the free show on Thursday. So we we flirting with that. Let us know in the comments what y'all think. If you preferably YouTube, go on to YouTube youtube dot com slash random acts of podcast no the youtube shit weird it's like youtube.com slash at reop <laughs> yeah you know youtube trying to be like fake as yeah. instagram with the fucking shorts and shit so they changed everybody url so r is youtube.com slash at reop y'all know you, you random acts of podcast leave in the comments do y'all fuck with two episodes a week what y'all think about that yeah mo for the show you know what i'm saying yeah let us know what yeah. Let us niggas know what you think, bro. But either way, I feel like we're gonna do it anyway. Yeah, we about to do it anyway. I mean, the goal is one to give the Patreon more, and then two just to again continue on with what we got going. I think that uh, you know, the biggest <coughs> thing right now is just I feel like you know it's it's time for us to step up a little more. You know, we already yeah. do a lot, but I feel like it's room. For, we talked about it. We we feel like it's it's room for more and shit. We ready to step up so. Yeah I feel like We're not doing enough I feel like we could do more Yeah Even though Let's be honest bro Nobody fucking with us bro I be I be listening to some podcasts Here and there Niggas be like Man I'm the hardest working In the game Yeah You're not bro yeah. I'm I'm the hardest working Joe the hardest working Banks Devin We the hardest working bro For real I mean And that's not even just saying it Just say it <laughs> Niggas not working harder than us And I feel like we could work harder So we We gonna, we gonna turn it up bro Y'all yeah. hand, hand me the phone and dial 911 on that phone real quick. <laughs> hey, these niggas faking and flies, man. Come arrest somebody. <laughs> um, That's funny as fuck. Yeah, hey, man. But yeah, let's get into what you want to do. Listen to questions or you want to do voice? I think we got like one voicemail. Let's start off with We these. did have one voicemail from Biff. I ain't going to play it, though. <laughs> Why not? Uh, Biff was on there talking crazy. Nah, man. He was asking about uh, he was asking about it. Yeah, uh, let's play the let's play the list. <laughs> Matter of fact, let me edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> what you want to do? Listen to questions or voicemail? Listen to questions. Listen to questions. Okay. Also, some niggas was asking. I'm a, I might have to do. I'm going to edit this out t-shirt because everybody be bringing up how I be like, I'm going to edit this out and I don't ever edit, edit it out. Sometimes yeah. I jokingly say it knowing I'm not going to edit it out. Sometimes I do edit it out. Yeah. But I didn't edit out what you said last week. What I, <laughs> I said? edited it out on the video. What that I crime said? you said you committed last week. Oh, yeah. It's edited out on the video. Uh, it's man. It's edited out on the audio, but I don't think it's edited it. I think it's on the Patreon. That shit so long ago. I, 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 I honestly, <clears throat> I don't give a damn about it. I mean, 
Like that shit happened Wasn't nobody harmed in it You know what I'm saying Like it wasn't nothing like that So yeah. It was one of those situations To where That one I can talk about You know freely Yeah this old lady man yeah. She casually got pistol whipped <laughs> She'll be alright Alright Voicemails 424-260-RAOP 424-260-RAOP Brain was loading up uh, this one is from I Have No Clue. So let me just say their number. So their number is 812. I'm, uh, hey, I I was gonna I, I'm, say. I'm joking. I'm joking. Yeah, wild. One day y'all going to try me. Sometimes y'all be trying me. I'm going to see our numbers on here one day. <laughs> Yo, what's going on? Whoa. Technical, technical issues, y'all. Hold on, hold on. Give me, give me a second. This nigga, remedial. <laughs> we gotta keep that in mind. Hey, that bitch say roadcaster. Hold on, hold on. Matt, yeah, you know MacBook be tripped. Oh, there you go, there you go. I usually test it out before we should record. I was in a rush today. Here we go. All right, P. Boy, Brett Puller, calling in real quick. Got a question, man. Shout out, Brett Puller. What's worse? Being a sports fan of a team and being like diehard, or wiping up like the the known hoe. <laughs> I feel like it's both. I both feel like both got the pros and cons. I'm trying to figure out which one's worse, because they both bring you immense joy at some point, but they also a motherfucker finds out you you with the hoe. You know what I'm saying? They, you gotta you gotta eat that one, and then motherfucker find out that you root for a certain team. I think y'all got. Wipe this up? Oh, man. You ain't going to hear the end of that. I feel like you ain't going to hear the end of either one. So let me know what y'all boys think. Also, make sure that uh, motherfuckers uh, sign up to the Patreon and quit being cheap. Hey. Peace. Oh, that shit, bro. Hey, man. So he said, what's worse, being a diehard sports fan, a wife and a hoe? Either way, somebody, people's going to laugh at you. 100%. And point. 100%. Yeah. All right. So here's my kick. I'm going to say being a diehard sports fan. Okay. We adults. Some of you niggas already wife toes. <laughs> no offense. Some niggas wife the hoe unknowingly. Unknowingly. I'm the nuts. Some dudes wife the hoe knowingly. So I was having a conversation with somebody last night, and they were talking about how he knew this one chick and she was like an eater or whatever mm -hmm. and this dude like wifed her up and he was like oh he had to, like we all went to the same school he had to know yeah he had to know she was an eater right and i basically told the nigga i was like bro sometimes niggas know and they be like that shit be so good whatever that 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 eating she did whatever she did in that bed that bro, nigga was like i need to lock that down and none of you of nobody yeah. none of you niggas can have it yeah and I mean, <laughs> I never would do that, but I do respect it. I'd be like, okay, I understand, bro. I mean, <clears throat> let's be real. As okay. you get older, hear me out now. I'm listening. As you get older, especially for the freaky ass niggas, mm -hmm. it's some women that's, you know, experienced in what you like. Yeah. That don't come from, you know what I'm saying? One, two niggas. Yeah. You got to be real with yourself. I seen one tweet where the nigga was like, I'd rather have a, a chick with 80 bodies versus one. I was like, bitch, knock it off. I mean, <laughs> nah, I've heard a lot of niggas say that. And I think the whole thing is this. You want a chick that that is comfortable doing what you like, not doing eight, whatever. Not you know 80, what I'm saying? No, 80's, yeah, 80's, crazy. Yeah. 80's crazy. 80's crazy. Give me about like 10 or something. I mean, yeah, like, I ain't I ain't out here caping for hoes now. Trust that. But what I am <laughs> saying is, I do understand a nigga, you know, at, at a certain age saying, hey, man, she do everything that I like. Yeah. And she willing to be, like, she willing to cut that shit. You know what I'm saying? Some of these hoes be knowing how to cook, too. Bro. Like it's a win win. You don't lose. I like it Especially down. if that bitch got work ethic. My only, <laughs> yeah, my work ethic. Funny. <laughs> my only criteria is just that you just not have mess with the homies. Oh, that's, that's yeah, the, that's, that's, the, that's, 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 yeah, that, that would be insane. Like, hey, man. 
Actually, hey, I got man. another criteria. Don't even hug that nigga again. Actually, not. I got another criteria. Let's not have the women out here like the, uh, I was just bringing up the Willow Rider. Yeah. If I find out you got Willow Rider, yeah, <laughs> it's over. That's insane. I don't care if I don't know the niggas. Straight I don't care up. if you got Willow Rider in Las Vegas. Straight up. By all nine, none of that shit. If you got Willow Rider, all nine of them niggas better be dead. Right. I mean, all nine gotta be dead. Like, hey, <laughs> that will fuck with me mentally. <laughs> I ain't comfortable. <laughs> I need to know these niggas are perished. Like, hey, straight up. And one of them niggas had to die in a fire. Nah, I need one of them terminally ill so I can go and talk my shit. <laughs> nigga, going, nigga gonna do like on the wire. Bitch ass nigga. Nigga gonna do like on the wire. Talk that shit now, playboy. <laughs> That's my wife out there. Y'all hey. nigga just misused her shit. <laughs> <laughs> Treating her like she a hoe. She ain't no hoe. <laughs> My that fucking nigga, wife. It was thirty years ago, nigga. I'm dying, nigga. nigga like, bro, I don't, who are we'll you, die, nigga? Nigga, I don't know you, bro. I <laughs> came to watch. Get your hands off me, bro. Bro, <laughs> nigga, just sit in the corner, by bro. Who the fuck is that, bro? I can't. You, you remember? You remember Barbara? <laughs> nigga, be like, what? You remember Barbara, right? Barbara. Yeah, nigga, be like from high school. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, nigga. I'm a husband. I'm here to watch you die for a nigga. Hey, that'd be the that'd be the greenest and coldest line <laughs> a nigga could. You know what I'm saying? And nigga be like, hurry up, man. The I never even knew you existed. Yeah, fuck nigga. She told me all that shit y'all did. I just wanted to comment. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to make sure you I just wanna watch you die, nigga. This is That's crazy. Yeah, definitely, definitely just cause at the end of the day. If you wipe the a, hoe, if you wipe the hoe, you get what you want. Somewhat, I guess. Yeah. But nigga, sports teams, yeah. Being nigga. a diehard sports team without no, if you ain't got no real bread, like your house, like your car, all that shit, you better be like at a level to where can't a nigga talk no shit to you. You talking about being a sports fan? Yeah. Okay. Cause outside of that, nigga, what is you investing all this money and memorabilia for? <laughs> I mean, like, don't get me wrong. I'm all for it, but some niggas go overboard, and it's like, nigga, you ain't got no hoes. Oh, you not you not gonna have a Florida Gator man cave? Nah, I ain't gonna have no Florida. Gator See, I man go cave. as far as far as just getting like the shirts and shit like that. Yeah, yeah, man, you ain't gonna see me with the. Uh, the Jaguar Monte Carlo or some shit like that. Yeah, some shit overkill. Now, I mean, if I could, if I could pull the colors off clean, you know what I'm saying? It's subtle, then some I, shit. You know what I'm saying? I can't, shit. I can't front. Of course, you, you know me, dog. What they call me? They call me the Black Marlins man. Uh -huh. I have went overkill a couple times, bro. I did have. Um, I, I don't got it no more. But. Marlins would probably be like that. That's a team that I probably would go overboard for. Yeah. Them, the Jaguars, but I mean the Gators. Don't get me wrong. I'm a I'm a huge fan, but yeah. Them crackers racist. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna yeah, be like yeah, I ain't yeah, I ain't yeah. I, that, to this day. So I ain't finna lie to myself about that shit. You know what I'm saying? I, yeah, ain't, I ain't doing all that overkill. That's why most of the most people you see in Jacksonville, they be Gator fans and they be white. They yeah, be some honkies. I actually been kind of re reassessing my my my. I ain't gonna lie. Nah, bro, you gotta be a Gators fan. Bro, nah, for life. not 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 for life, dog. These crackers here, they pissing me off, bro. And who you gonna be a fan of? Penn State? No, what? Bro, it's always gonna be a Florida team. Don't, don't, don't. Hey, what you gonna buy to be a Hurricane fan? They, they like my, you know, they, they like my. Oh city, my you know god, saying? bro! But, what is going on, bro? You can't be a gay. How you cannot? How you? How you can't fuck with a team that's ninety percent black? <laughs> You got it, bro. I'm an FSU every year. I'm an FSU fan, so the most majority FSU fans be niggas. FSU, I, I, I like. I've, I've, I've grown a disdain for FSU <laughs> for yeah. thirty four years, nigga. Man, them Florida team, bro. You gotta hate the other, bro. Like it's straight like, up, you really you do. You dog. can't like two teams. Trust, I, I ain't never like root for Miami. Or, like I. I Unless they was on some on some like a hey, Gators out out of the way, but how? No, nah, bro. When that? it comes to college sports, I fucking yeah. hate the Gators, and I hate I hate 
I hate you. Ain't got you. no choice to. I fucking hate the you. You ain't got no choice to. We bitter <coughs> rivals, and y'all bitter rivals both ways. Yeah, all yeah, all three Florida teams. Are y'all as much as a rival? We don't yeah. play Miami that often. Now, I'm about to say, are y'all is like the Gators that much of a rival to? We cause don't I play because I feel like the Florida, Florida, um, Florida State. Like we blood rivals with yeah, y'all, yeah, and we yeah. blood rivals with you. Y'all, y'all in the same uh, <clears throat> conference, so that's why that's why that occurs in the ACC. To yeah. be real, SEC don't respect ACC in any regard, and, and, except for I'm gonna be real. Florida State get their credit because them yeah. niggas. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, let's be real. We we the reason why y'all hate us, man. We win more than y'all. Yeah, yeah. And we won recently over all y'all niggas. Yeah. We got the most recent national championship. One hundred percent, and that 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 burn niggas up every year. Like yeah. whoever whoever don't won like national championship, nigga, you talk about that shit until another team wins. Yeah, cause ain't nobody shit until you know what I'm saying. Like, oh no, nah, college football, you talk about that shit. Cause you keep talking about them punk ass championship. They won. Yeah, back that in shit. There. That shit was well before my time. So what about, I ain't even. What about yeah. twenty five years ago, yeah. nigga? <laughs> nigga talking about some championships with Warren Sapp and shit like that. Yeah. Nigga talking about some champions. Well, they ain't even well, win shit, no championship. I was going to say, they real run was in the 80s. So. Well, they had one in the 2000s. I mean, yeah. Yeah. What? They won Early what? Early 2000s. 2001 and 2000. I think they won 2000, 2001, didn't it? Uh, I'm going to be honest, dog. I don't want the you on my, anything you man, related on my pull laptop. It up. Pull it up. Man, I'm not looking the shit nigga. up, man. <laughs> I don't want these niggas on my laptop, bro. I don't want them shits in my cookies. But, yeah, um. They had, they had, bro. They had some dogs from eighteen, nigga. How many national titles did the U win? <laughs> Let's see. NCAA.com. Nigga said, "I'm going to the official." Man, do I gotta look this up for real? I'm surprised it ain't like. The first thing you see when you type it in on Google. They won. These fuck niggas won five. Last one, 2001. You was right. Yeah. Other one was 91. Okay. 89. The year I was born. 87. You, yeah. was, you was born in 90, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Disgusting. Yeah, so like I said, I mean, they real round was in the 80s. <coughs> yeah, fuck them. Um, 2000s, they just had really good teams. They won in 2001. Um... What was that they did in 2000s? Uh, they just went to the championship. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, unclaimed national championship. <coughs> well, why is it unclaimed? Because who, who who won? Uh, hold on. I think they won that year. Oh, yeah, they won. They won. Yeah, 2000, 2001. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they, they beat y'all. When? 2000? Yeah, 2000. They beat y'all Florida. In, in the championship? Yep, the Big East championship. Yeah. The Sugar Bowl. That was back when, um, it's different now. Of course, they got like the national championship game. That was the one, you remember back in the day, a certain bowl was the uh -huh, championship. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it was usually like the, what was it, like the Nokia Sugar, Sugar Bowl or some shit like that? Something. I forget. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, like I say, I just I, I I hate I hate I hate watching Florida make these same stupid ass mistakes every year, dog. They really been pissing me off since Tim Tebow left. They done made some <clears throat> dumb ass decisions with coaching. Coaching come in and be soft as fuck. I'm loving it. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. So shout out to Brad for that for that uh voicemail. So man, yeah. yeah. Like I say, you gotta be you gotta be breaded up. Shout out to Brad Puller. You gotta be breaded up to be a diehard sports fan. Wife and the whole, you don't lose for real. Cause we adults, nigga. What you gonna say to me? I really ain't gotta hang with you to be hearing no shit like that. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the night, I'm getting my dick sucked. You know what I'm saying? You be walking it. You gonna feel some type of way, bro. I know you. You walk in the street, niggas be pointing at you with your girl. <laughs> I definitely would feel no type of way. That's why I would never do it, but. Nigga, <laughs> nigga, <die. laughs> hey, hey, fuck, nigga, quit all that laughing. Laugh quietly. Every time you go in a restaurant, nigga be like, <laughs> nigga got the menu in front of me. 
What y'all laughing at, nigga? I just move, bro. Like I say, you don't lose. If you happy with that hoe, <coughs> yeah. marry that hoe. Yeah, hey, man. Hoes do become housewives. For real? Hey, yeah. that shit, that shit real. Yeah. Hey, ho, keep hoeing. <laughs> I'm joking, but. <laughs> Hey, ho, keep hoeing. It's crazy. <laughs> All right. So we got a couple uh, listening questions to send those in. Hit us up. Mail at ariopodcast.com. That's mail, mail at ariopodcast.com. Or you can hop on the Patreon. The Patreon, we got a little section where you can leave the comments. Also on the Discord. Indeed. Yeah, so. Tap into the Discord, man. Discord going crazy. So, baby, you my daddy, they ask me. Nah, <laughs> he came out dead. He came out, came the, out gate, the gate. Gate walling. Bruh, like, I was like, did you did you sign up just to do this? That's crazy. It's funny, he DM'd me on Twitter. He was like, I'm on the Patreon. I don't see this. I don't see this. The, uh, what you call it? So I said, bet. Do you know the usual? Yeah, right, right, send him right. the link. I look. I instantly saw. I I I, 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 I hopped back on the Discord. I was like, "Oh yeah, I haven't checked the Discord today, bro." It, it got his little welcome messages. Yes. And in the first post, dog, you know I'm normally <coughs> late to shit like conversations and shit in the Discord. <laughs> I was probably like, as soon as that shit posted, I don't know what made me click it. I was driving. I seen that shit. I said, whoever you are, you're wildin'. <laughs> <laughs> like, nigga. That's that Talladega night type beat. Yeah, I'm like, bro, you don't want to come, you don't want to do your first impression. That's his mental. See, I see Grand National, he added, he jumped on the Discord. He been keeping it kind of. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> see, he been keeping it kind of, like, he been posting some good shit. Yeah. The other niggas came out the gate tripping. <laughs> But either way, man, <laughs> whether you're tripping or you cool with it, yeah. As long as you don't just post no, long as you don't, shit. long as you don't post, don't do what Talladega Nights did. <laughs> <coughs> don't do what Talladega Nights did. <laughs> Hold on, let me see. Did you see what he posted during? <laughs> so to the listeners, Talladega Nights is a Falcons fan, <laughs> bruh. I still, dog, the shit be so funny to me when we talk about that because <laughs> I can't believe I had this nigga's band lifted. Yeah, we banned him from the Patreon back. and Joe, I mean, not the Patreon, we banned him from the Discord. <laughs> Joe let him back in. And I can't, he came back on that one. <laughs> Uh, this is this is what Joe wanted back in the Discord. Nah, chill out, chill out. So that's ta- not, that's so not. Talladega Nights is a Falcons fan, and you know the Falcons was playing. Uh, who the Falcons played? Oh, Kansas City <laughs> this Monday, which was uh, I like that game. Yeah, Falcons, y'all just got terrible coaching. Y'all should have kicked two field goals. Y'all would have won it by one point. But either way, but y'all want to blame the refs? <laughs> Niggas, pause before I read this. this Nigga, <laughs> he put in all caps. First he put rise up, rise up. That's the Falcons rise up shit. Yeah, yeah. Nigga, nigga follows. By, I think he, actually like forty minutes later, he was like, he was like, I ain't get enough horn this off. Nigga said, hold still, Kansas City. Stop squirming. You been begging for this dick. All right. That's that. Do you no, see it? Bruh. No, bro. <laughs> no, bro. No, bro. No, bro. Hey, all right. Tell and he put it in all caps, bro. You working on another one? You hey, working bro. on another band? Nah, nah bro. He get ten passes this time because that's y'all want. Y'all want Chill that out, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> y'all wanted him back in the Discord so bad. He get all the passes, bro. Niggas now. was DMing me and shit, bro. Niggas was hitting me. I'm like, <laughs> damn, that's crazy, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I say y'all want him back. I'm gonna talk to Elf, man. Don't worry. That nigga, that nigga did not talk to me, bro. <laughs> I said, hey man, we gotta let this nigga tell the nigga. That nigga said, I'm on. That nigga did not talk to me, bro. <laughs> bro, before the band, Talladega Nights was not wild like he be wilding now, dog. That nigga got too comfortable in the disc. See the band being lifted. I'm trying to look for that post when I was like, I know this your, I know this your burner account, nigga. 
Oh, 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 oh yeah, yeah. I can't remember where I, I posted. I can't remember I posted in the music <laughs> or what. Might have posted in general. If it's posted in general, I it's think too it was far in up. general. It's too far up. Man, man nigga, search the t- search the message. Oh like, yeah, I forgot that she got a search. Hold up, what is it? Burner, burner account. Yeah. Yeah, burner. Okay. Y'all know I'm old man. Right. Oh yeah, 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 this right here. I said this Tyler Dick and Nights Burner account nigga had posted. So the Future album came out last Friday. Nigga had tweeted, "Future, take it out, it's hurting." <laughs> Niggas is gay. Nigga, yeah, you in the closet, nigga, know what I'm talking about? You a homosexual, you know what I'm talking about? I ain't got nothing against you, but nigga, don't be trying to pause in the pussy population, nigga, with your old, with your old sick dick. Why did he post that, bro? That's an insane tweet. That's, that's, that's egregious. Man, let's get into these listening questions, man. This one from (laughs) Frank. He said, has everyone, y'all know I got CT. Let me let my brain load up. Yeah, bro. Me, 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 me. (laughs) Me, 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 me. You gotta bang it against the wall a few times. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Get the uh, the circuits working again. Sounded like two peanuts. All right. Um, this one's from Frank. He said, "Has anyone ever been on a decade run of consistency like we're seeing with Future? Has Future surpassed Wayne all time?" All right, let's mm. go ahead and start by saying, technically, technically, there will be a few people that kind of surpass Wayne's run today. Okay, list them. Young you boy it. would be one. What? I ain't saying young boy is like in my top, but you can't act like young boy doesn't have the same following Wayne had. And <coughs> has had it for years. I mean, now it's probably diminished a bit because he ain't really. Well, he don't have. He he never had the commercial appeal like Wayne had. But shit, to 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 do what he's done without it says even more. I don't know if I agree with that. Keep going. That nigga, to that nigga ran shit for like a good five years. I don't agree with that. Wayne's run was what? Wayne's, Wayne's running shit. Wayne's real run. Was probably three years. Wayne's real run was three years. What's the years? I say what? When did he drop the Carter Two? Carter Two was that like two thousand like five maybe? I don't know if that was two thousand five. Six had to have been later than that. Look it up. Hold on, you said a Carter Five. I thought Carter Two. Carter Two. Carter Two. Because I think Carter One came out two thousand five maybe. I think Carter Two might have came out two thousand eight. Carter Two didn't come out two thousand eight. Niggas still in high school. Two thousand five, like I said, Carter December sixth, two thousand five. Okay. Carter Two. Hmm. Yeah. Because Carter Three came out um oh seven. Okay. Okay. So. Or oh, was it oh eight? And his mixtape run. Oh eight, June tenth, oh eight. Because I remember I was out of high school when this shit happened. When did he start his mixtape run with no ceilings and shit like that? I mean, really, what the uh, the pre squad up pre prefix that was like two thousand three. But see, suffix. I feel like squad the squad up. up is like glamorized. Niggas was niggas was paying attention <clears throat> to Wayne at that squad up, and they was like, okay, he's starting to like heat up at this point. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, it was like on some niggas un- ain't it- give him no respect until Wayne did that shit <clears throat> for himself. Really, with the Carter, the okay. Carter opened the door. All right, so let's let's let's, let's say the Carter. So you got two. That's two thousand four. Okay. All right, so you got Carter three came out two thousand eight. Nah, oh, two thousand eight. Yeah, his run went after it. I would say his run kind of like got stagnant around the time when the, like the blog era began. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's two thousand nine. It got a little like around it. I feel like his run kind of stopped when he went to prison. Yeah, yeah, technically. Yeah, because niggas was niggas wasn't fucking with I am a human being and all that no, different shit like that. No. Even though he had a couple hits in there with like I'm single and yeah. like shit like yeah. that here and there, but uh, I would say Wayne Run. I could be wrong. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say he had maybe like a five or six year run. I'd say a solid four or five, four, four, oh four to oh eight, easy. 
Easy win. But Carter Carter three came out of 08. He had a run a little bit afterwards. Cause he nigga, he went platinum in the first nigga on Carter. If you want to, if you the got, Carter three, you can add Carter four to his run. Cause Carter four went platinum in a day. That's superstar shit. That's that. At that the ring. point, you have a, a a a consistent catalog, nigga. That's easy. How many clashes do Wayne got? Cause nigga saying did uh did uh uh the massacre first go of all, platinum? Don't, don't touch me, bro. Man, shut the fuck up. Don't touch me, bro. Did did, did, did the massacre go? One day I'm gonna slap you. Yeah. <laughs> did the massacre go platinum? Did the yeah, nigga? <laughs> but, and it was ass. The massacre was ass. Was it mas- wasn't it wasn't good I in like, my opinion. I'm gonna be honest though. I like the mask mask more than get rich or die trying. That's crazy. I like the mask a lot. That's crazy. Get rich or die trying is a certified classic. Okay, I like the mask. I like the mask more. I don't know if I really gave it a chance. <laughs> yeah, you didn't give it a chance. I ain't gonna say it's an ass. I don't like. Uh, yeah, I will give you that. Pff, nigga, if it you want, if you want to be trying. real, I don't even know why we talking about Fifty Cent right now. 50 Cent only really had a two album run for real. And you could probably add three if you had the G Unit album. I'd the Beg for Mercy album. I'd say the two the two album run for sure, but even that second album was shaky. You know what I'm saying? The second album, niggas knew it was closing in. Nigga, that album was good, bro. I'm sorry, I'm, bro. I'm, I'm, I, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. But I feel like <coughs> the gimmick hit, played hit. out. Like niggas caught up to the gimmick at that point. <coughs> Musically, 50 Cent was, you know. Listeners, right. hop in the comments on the YouTube. Let us know if you fought with the Massacre album. Yeah. Hop in the comments. Let us know if like you Like I like say, I, I I personally ain't ain't really give it a chance like that when it dropped. So I ain't I know I ain't revisited it. Yeah, man. That shit has some Well, I ain't really listening to 50 Cent music like that anyway. Yeah. Cause I don't wear tank tops. Nigga, that's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. I don't bro. wear tank. I don't wear muscle. Bro, no bullshit. I remember it was a group of niggas in my neighborhood. Like when we stayed in the military housing, you you don't control who you you know what I'm saying. Be around type shit. You go yeah. into the center and it's niggas that you, that be there. You know what I'm saying. Nigga, nigga said uh, yeah, our friends was government issued. Bro, <laughs> <laughs> nigga said I don't care. I ain't saying they was friends, but them that niggas, niggas go was, to his friends. They be, they be saying they <laughs> they code name. You like yes, I'm SRT seven seven thousand. What's your name? <laughs> <laughs> I knew some niggas that was running around calling themselves G Unit. All of them niggas used to have the tank tops, and they used to be trying to recruit niggas to go and get them. Like, <laughs> hey man, you want to go up to the exchange and get some tank, some of them G unit tank tops? <laughs> I gotta get some anyway. I like, remember, I remember one time it was at Wilson. It was a light skinned nigga. You remember when you remember when the G unit tank top came out, right? Was, yes. The nigga had the G unit tank top on. He had on some big ass jeans, and he had on the Hurricanes. You remember the game had his own shoe. Oh my god! He had the hurricane shoes and he had the white bandana on. So it was just the it was like the last day of school. You know, in the last day of school, niggas don't give a fuck. We in prank mode. So bro got the G unit tank top on. Bro, he think he fresh. He got the little. You remember they had you had a fake Jacob watches back in the mm-hmm. day, the colorful ones. He Couldn't got believe the, niggas buying them. Hey man, I bought one. Green. <laughs> Green ass hey nigga. Hey man, don't Jacob, the fake Jacob watches were fire. They bro. actually was. Nigga. I ain't gonna hold you. He, they was hard, but he, nah. He hit the button out of hate. <laughs> that was pure hate and victory. I mean, bro, you were you you walking around the school in what's a million dollar watch, <laughs> like nigga, come on, nigga got a million. Nigga you got, got a, that bitch out the fifty cent machine. <laughs> nigga got a million dollar watch with a South Pole shirt on. Right, like nigga, <laughs> it don't add up. Hey man, nigga just got off the school. The bus. shit was hard though. I ain't gonna hold you, but it was hey like man, I you're wildly. Hey man, I had to fake Jacob watch, bro. I paid ten dollars from that bitch. Yeah, you, you. These the same niggas that was clowning niggas wearing fake Jordans. It was crazy because I had I accidentally had to buy the uh, the Jacob fake watch because the nigga I was buying it from, I had I tried to put it on my wrist and it fell and the glass popped out and That's he was like he was crazy. like oh you gotta buy that that <laughs> nigga bought a faulty I fixed it though uh, yeah, but it was a yeah. fake it was bro it was a Jacob watch for ten dollars yeah yeah straight up out the source you got magazine. fake ups. 
<laughs> you got green ass nigga ups. <laughs> you got green. You got green ups, nigga. Fuck you, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> nigga thought he oh, had man. one with that. <laughs> Shut up, nigga. But the nigga had so you oh, know man. you know at the end of school, bro, it, it, anything go niggas had to ask. So bro had to that fit on like I just said. Somebody somebody put the bus window down. So we got water balloons on the bus and water guns. We were shooting on um, who was shooting first coast with the water guns when we got on the back <laughs> to the north side. <laughs> Shooting rains and shit. Yeah. Oh, y'all was wild. Like, y'all was asking for fights. Well, you noticed the schools we said we were shooting first coast and rains. We was not shooting Reebok because them niggas had real guns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, we, them niggas would shoot back. We were shooting first coast and we was pushing it shooting first coast. Yeah, yeah. But, I was going to say, rains will beat your ass. Rains will pull your ass off the bus. Yeah, rains wasn't really shooting like that. They was, yeah, they would They'll, beat your ass. They would beat your <coughs> I remember going to it. No, Reigns. They, uh, Wolfson played Reigns one night, and nigga, the, the stadium fuck? was thick as fuck, bro. I don't remember that. I made I, I made sure not to go to that game, <laughs> bro. Thick as if I if I remember correctly, or maybe I went to a Reigns game. All I know is, nigga, under them lights, it looked like what the entire. Like stadium, the little uh, bleacher section, yeah, was beating one nigga ass. <laughs> the teams stopped and everybody watched this nigga get his ass whooped. That was the halftime show. I ain't never seen no <laughs> shit like that. <laughs> they started on the band. Go beat that. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> It'll beat he'll beat that nigga ass to the rhythm. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, bro, that nigga definitely got his ass beat that nigga. Y'all that help night. me. No. Now what did he do to make <clears throat> them that so, that mad? That's crazy. <laughs> but back to the green nigga with the June fit. So somebody just rolled down the window. They were like, hey bro. They was, they just said, You green and just threw a water bottle at him. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny as fuck. And he, it, I just felt bad for him too. You ever had a situation where like it shit just be funny, and then when somebody get bullied, and you just see their reaction, and you be like, "Bro, I felt bad." <laughs> Bruh, them niggas uh, that I was telling you calling themselves junior and shit, they was like two, three years older than me. And nigga, at that time, I'm trying to remember what year that had to have been. I think G Unit came out in what 2002. <coughs> Uh yeah, two thousand two, two thousand three. So yeah, I'm probably thirteen, nigga. They like fifteen, sixteen, walking around with them G unit tank tops and bandanas. I was like, y'all niggas green as fuck. There's one nigga, uh, he was like African or some shit, <laughs> black as night, nigga, could barely speak English, and and had on a white tank top. I'm like, nigga, you look like. Oil and toothpaste. <laughs> what in their colors, bro? What's going on, bro? bro? Nigga was wilding. This nigga, this nigga, Philip Lewis. Hey, bro, oh, <laughs> man, that's crazy. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah. I nigga, read that nigga tweet. <laughs> that nigga show Philip Lewis, bro. Nah, nigga, I'm just here to nigga, say this nigga hate Africans. Nah, them niggas was so green. I started dissecting everything about each one of them niggas. It was a light skinned nigga. This nigga thought he was Lloyd Banks. Nigga used to legit tell his tell girls his name was Lloyd. I was like, this nigga is green as fuck. Did they had the uh, the Ninja Star earrings? You know how niggas had the big ass diamond earrings. He did have that. He did have that. That nigga. Uh, that nigga name was Deuce. I was like, yeah, Word. you are a green nigga. Where you from? Double New green Jersey. nigga. <laughs> Twice the greenness, nigga. Hey, so uh, I'm sorry, Frank. We kind of went on a tangent. Put your question. So let's quickly answer your question, Frank. Thank you, Frank, for being a loyal Patreon yeah, yeah, member. For sure. Also, but. Yeah, you was naming some niggas. You was saying some niggas who had a longer run. I mean, you, I you lost me it. with the NBA. I, young boy. Young I, I definitely boy. would say Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick for sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, but shit, Drake at this point. Drake, um, yeah. Thug even. You know what I'm saying? Like it's niggas that have had 
you know, longer runs than yeah. than Wayne at this point. I think Future has definitely been one of the most consistent with it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we so what I've been noticing, I know everybody say like the music that fell off, we don't have the mega stars like we used to. But I will say this, we got more people with ten year runs like Travis Scott, you on a ten year run right now. Yeah. And nigga just get it. that nigga just served niggas a ten year old mixtape and that shit went no, it was number one back to back weeks. That's what's Even up. though he was doing funny numbers with it, but still, it's like a lot of niggas. I know we slander Big Sean, bro. That nigga Big Sean on a ten year run. Yeah, yeah, Big Sean definitely. <clears throat> like Cole I don't, on, I don't fuck, on a ten year run. I don't fuck with Big Sean at all. But I mean, shit, really, fifteen years. Like yeah, these 15, niggas, yeah. these niggas doing like way longer runs than we've ever seen in hip hop. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Um, and it's so easy to forget. Wayne dominated, dominated yeah. for four years. Four years. Mm-hmm. That to me is not an argument. You know what I'm saying? I feel like six years. I feel like by 2010, honestly speaking, like T Pain started to get into that money. T Pain, T Pain runs over at that point. T Pain run was like 07, like 07, 07 yeah. 08, 09. But, nah, that nigga, that nigga, that nigga picked around, up. Around that 10 nigga went, picked up like 08, no, 09. Yeah, 09. Around 2010, 11, when Jay Z dropped like Death of Auto Tune, it was over at that point. Yeah, it was over at that point. But I, I think it was, I think it might have been like 11 when Jay Z did that shit. 11, probably. I don't know. I don't know. I but, know um, T Pain. T Pain had, he, he, has, <clears throat> he had a run. In Wayne's time, the biggest T Pain run was 08, like 08, 07, oh, especially 08, when he dropped when he was on Good Life with Kanye. Yeah, 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 all that shit. Uh, what was it, Death of Auto Tune? Yeah, but I feel like I feel like uh, T Pain like had a resurgence, even you know what I'm saying? Like, Death of the- Auto Tune was 2009. 2009? Yep. Nah, ain't June no way. That's crazy. Yep, that sounds about right. That's crazy. So, shit, T-Pain might have had a two-year run. Yeah, about... What's he had? Hold on, let's see when um, Ospr- I, I feel mean, like Osprung came out, like, after niggas got out of high school. Nah, I think... It, yeah, 07. I think it came out 07, if I ain't mistaken. You, gotta, um, you also got to remember, it's kind of blurred for us, because T-Pain had a... A Florida run. Yeah, he had a. Oh, I'm sprung came out 2005. 2005. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, cause we, cause nigga, we was hearing T Pain before he got big. So and I feel like, like, like I say, his shit. Like y'all, y'all both from Tallahassee. Man, shut the fuck up. <laughs> man, <dude. laughs> Actually, I'm from Pensacola. My cousin, uh, his ex wife in uh, Tallahassee, her peoples was in that group. To my song, they had the robbery. Yeah, the robbery. Yeah. Were they really robbing people? I don't know. I ain't getting that. Damn, bro. Now. Where they at right now? Because they was shitting on T-Pain. They was calling him a bum and shit. Um, sh- I know that she said ain't none of them niggas like really even try to pursue it like he did. And it, yeah, it made sense why they, you know. Well, let me stop showing her. If they, just in case they really be robbing. Mm-hmm. Shit. Because if y'all pull up on me with a gun, I'm a bitch-ass Nika. <laughs> <laughs> don't pull up on me with nothing, bro. But I mean, yeah, I ain't, I ain't asking nobody to pull up on me with a gun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the Frank to answer your question, yeah, definitely, man. I'm gonna be honest, dog. I got Future over, even though I wasn't a real fan of the project that came out recently. I ain't really like it like yeah, that. Yeah, I was gonna say Future, that shit full of mix, skills. Mixtape Pluto, but he dropped two amazing albums this year. Beyond back to back, like bruh. And, and this, then last year he had a fucking classic. Yeah. That album was a classic, nigga. That album was really fucking good. Yeah, yeah, that, that album was good. Um, and th- this nigga Future done dropped two classic albums in a year before when he yeah. did uh, Future and Hendrix. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's done it before, bro. Like, I'm sorry, Wayne don't got a catalog, and and it's not, and it's Wayne don't got a catalog like Future, and it's crazy. Everybody be like the mixtape, 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 bro. Mixtapes ain't respected like that Future, when we really talking I'm, about it. Hey man, well, let's say this: we let's say we gonna respect the mixtapes. Yeah, yeah. Future got a way better mixtape catalog than Wayne too. Yeah, I he's, spank, he's spanking with the albums, and he's spanking with the with the mixtapes. I'm gonna say this: that nigga Future got 
songs that have lasted way longer than any Wayne song. Yeah. You don't hear them playing Wayne in the club. You don't hear them playing, you know what I'm saying? Because there aren't many, like, that was a different time in hip hop. Future shit, hey, man, you can fuck up some comments tonight. Yeah. I don't know about you, man. I, I think I might have to put Future in my top five. I did have Wayne in my top five, but I might have to take him out. I mean, Future could definitely fit in the top five for sure. Yeah. Like I say, when that nigga dropped Turn Out the Turn Out the Lights, I was like, oh, this nigga is a real artist. Oh yeah, me and you, I remember who I was talking about on the episode that we did a future <laughs> episode. We did the uh what was that? Pluto, Pluto 3D. Uh bro, I swear this is a Mandela effect. I swear there's a version to turn off the lights with Rihanna, dog. I can't find it, but I swear that happened. I don't know. I don't know. I swear it's a, or a, I looked it up I when we did the episode. Shit. I looked it up when we did the episode. I can't find it, but I swear, I swear I heard that. I could believe it. I mean, that <laughs> nigga was hot as fish grease, but that record there yeah. is beautiful, nigga. Yeah, turn off the lights, all kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, all that shit, bro. And I don't know why people be disrespecting Future. Like bro, Future is a project product of the Dungeon family. Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's an offspring of all that shit, Outcast, all that. So, why is him making classic music? Why is that alarming to y'all? Yeah, we should be we should be <laughs> praising Future. Really, yeah. I mean, how that nigga live is how that nigga live. You know, God willing, we'll find out. He don't know. You know what I'm saying? Crazy shit, but yeah. you know, I, like him being toxic and shit like that. Shit, that nigga that nigga single. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Who am I to judge that nigga life? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't give a fuck about it for one, but <laughs> yeah, I don't give a fuck. Long you, long you give us good music, man. But last that uh, mixtape Pluto, I ain't really like that. But he he dropped us some. He gave us some good albums this year. Bruh. So it was like whatever. And then again, <coughs> the albums is what hold weight. Ten years from now, twenty years from now, the albums is what's gonna be <coughs> reviewed and talked about and shit like that. Mixtape runs, amazing, yeah, amazing. But it's so hard to to keep up with mixtape songs. Like to go back and find them, it's it's getting increasingly harder. Which is why you see them trying to put them on DSPs today. Yeah. But uh, in that regard. Yeah. That nigga Future got great albums, so. Yeah, just like you said, so, um, rest in peace, DMX. One thing that people bring up bring up about DMX is that nigga dropped two amazing albums in one calendar year. Yes. And that was rare back then. Now we get more people dropping two albums. This happens all the time. Right. But you don't drop Flies two. Flies used to make that a thing. You don't drop two amazing albums in a year. So usually like one is all right. I remember Rick Ross dropped like two in one year. Like one was that. One was, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, one was ass and the other. One was all right and the other one was ass. Yeah. So it's like it don't count that you drop two in a year. Yeah. But this nigga dropping, yeah, future like on the shit with DMA. I'm going to give you two albums and both of them going to be fire. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, next question. I'm going to be honest, bro. I can't pronounce your name. I'm going to call you Zai. Can you pronounce that? I can't even see it. Either way, I salute you for sending the question into us. Um, Zadeko. Zadeko. Salute you. salute you, brother. Yeah, that's how I think you said it right. <coughs> Zadeko. I'm a mid-20s black man. I'm a young, young black, black man. man. Doing all that I can. <laughs> he said, "I can't." Hey, did he try to get a hold of that boy? Man, don't put that on that nigga. I'm bro. just saying he did at that time. All right, bro. Stop. I'm just saying. All right, bro. Let's get back to the question. He said, "I'm I glad he ain't take it." That boy, that boy ain't go did it, bro. <laughs> you just gonna keep going with jokes. I'm just saying. I'm He's, just saying. I keep getting the short end of the <laughs> stick. Pause. When it comes to dating, I low key feel like I'm cursed. What can I do to improve my condition? Big supporter of the pod. You guys got me through a lot of stuff. Salute you, brother. Yeah, appreciate that. Uh, Glad we can help. So First, let me start by saying you ain't give us a lot of context to work with. Yeah, that's all I about to say. I was like, where are you looking for these girls? Are you like on uh, dating apps? Are you going out? Where are you located, for one? Um, it's a lot. Only thing I could probably think of all the – you could send a follow-up for us next week when you hear this. And just answer, just answer those three. We don't need no full details. 
Do we need full details? I don't I mean, want to. I don't want to go full dating because you know when niggas be like giving niggas hey, dating man, advice, hey, they be like, "What shit?" I have to go R A O P dating uh, <laughs> <laughs> dating advice. Now some people when I do be watching some shows, they be like, "Bro, send a picture like how you look." Yeah, nah, we ain't nah, gonna go ain't full gonna in. I feel like just give us. That's crazy. Yeah, you nigga, you kind of handsome, bro. I ain't finna match make you a new <laughs> shit. But uh, I said, you kind of cute. It's crazy, nigga. <laughs> um, you kind of, you fine, nigga. So here's no what homo. I would say. Most, most, most <coughs> issues with men when it comes to shit like that is confidence. You know what I'm saying? Get your yeah. confidence up. That's that's the starting point. Just, just, women, women are simple. Make them laugh, make them smile, make them feel good. You know what I'm saying? Nine times out of ten, you raised your chances right there. It don't matter what you look like. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, but two, you know, if we're going to be real about it, most 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 black men could be handsome if they clean themselves up and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, more praise to the kings and gods, whatever, you know, Banks be saying. But... Um, yeah, man, get a cut. Maybe it's your wardrobe, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if you're running around like Banks with the Velcro shoes or what, you know what I mean? But, <laughs> hey, man, Banks be what? Hey, Banks be Banks got the, that bread up, no? Yeah, he got the bread up, but you got to be honest, dog. Banks be having the Velcro shoe, but he be pulling sometimes. Uh, he do. And why? I'd be surprised. And we, nigga, but Banks got confidence, though. He do. That's why, that's another situation. You got to have a confidence. He got a weird confidence, but yeah. Yeah. yeah, he put them. He also put the shots up. That's why. That's why I'm about to say. <laughs> also, like, even if you don't got, because sometimes niggas can't afford certain stuff. And mm -hmm. I'm not talking about banks, y'all. I'm just saying in general, because we already know banks is rich. He tell us every second. Yeah, <laughs> that's a joke from last week. <laughs> but uh, when it comes to like wars, if you don't got got it all financially, you just got bring your confidence up and bro i'm gonna tell you man i don't I, you being real you can't even use that as an excuse no more you know what i'm saying one learn how to upcycle you know what i mean like you can redo a lot of your old shit like if you got old black faded jeans go and buy some dye dip them shits yeah. bring them back to life you know what i mean go to tj maxx ross get you some polo collar shirts just so you can have something to swap out you know what i mean 15 25 dollars somewhere in that range Man, that's easy. You know what I'm saying? Those are things that just keep you like having something decent day to day, right? When you really want to drop a fit, man, you got to think. You going out how many times to where you want to make a statement? You know what I'm saying? If you going out every week, just go somewhere and get you something that look decent, man. A pair of forces yeah. that you can keep up with. You know, don't don't buy you no black forces, but. <clears throat> buy you something that's affordable that makes sense you know what i mean and then even if you got to thug that shit out for a month straight yeah it's All, easy yeah. ways to make shit make sense also you gotta give us more clues because you said short in the stick what does short in the stick mean do you keep getting like girls that's like cheating on you do you keep getting girls that got dudes right right um, short in the stick could be a lot of things. Like, yeah, the biggest thing is you got girls that is, keep getting pregnant on you and it's not yours. <laughs> right, short in the stick could be you got girls <laughs> steal your money that you got. And my, another issue is might be that nigga might be balling. The short in the stick might be women just want his money. True indeed. Short in the stick could mean a lot of things. So we yeah. need some more detail, brother. We willing to help you out. I feel like we gave you some good advice though. Yeah, confidence, everything. Even if you are bred it up. If you bred it up and you feel like women taking your money, it feel uh, that's easy. All you got to offer might be your money, so you you gotta have you gotta be more interesting. Nah, not even that. Not <clears throat> e well, that's a great. That's actually a great point. But another thing is stop giving them that kind of access. Yeah, you need to be more direct in that regard. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If they're letting you know that they want you for your bread, shit. Let them know what you want them for. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I want good company, but I also want my dick ate. Exactly. That's some real shit. So, I, 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 yeah. that's yeah. the only way that, you know, I know how to be forward, direct, you know what I'm saying? Honest. Being confident, like, that comes and goes depending on certain things. Like I say, it might be like, yo, you got shoes that you ain't confident in wearing. You know what I'm saying? You heard somebody joke about them or some shit like that. Buy some new ones. Yeah. You can't tell me you can't pull off a fit because niggas go in the wall. Like, niggas is doing trends on TikTok and Instagram and shit going into Walmart and making fits. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, it's a ton of them. It was like, uh, 
what they call it, the hundred dollar outfit challenge. Yeah, this nigga. Uh, it's like and that. you don't even need a hundred dollars. A hundred dollars could come with shoes, depending it's, on where you go. Hey man, it's like Deco. He probably listened to. It. He said, "Man, fuck nigga, I get fits off. Fuck and, nigga." And and we even, we just shooting from the hip. Right, we ain't right, got much right, to right. work with. We're, but, we just we just getting shit all bases. <laughs> I feel like we got all bases because. And I'm gonna be honest, dog. You said you in your mid twenties. I know people be getting married when they in their mid twenties. Let's be yeah. honest, dog. Mid twenties is when you like learn a lot. Shit out, yeah, yeah. you figuring shit out. So if you getting the short end of your stick in your mid twenties, it really don't mean nothing. Because like, I feel like you got to find your ideal spouse or whatever, like in your thirties, right, to, to right. be real. So if you, because I was getting the short end of the stick in my uh, mid twenties, it's like it is what it is. This is a part of life. Man, look, learn how you the learn, game goes. Yeah, you, learn, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you look in your <clears throat> mid 20s, that's when you learn what you like and what you don't like. Exactly. Yeah. And that's where you start to define like how you move. So if you like a woman that goes out often, you probably gonna meet her in the club. You probably gonna meet her out at a restaurant or something to where it's 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 an event going on. Shit, brunches be popping, you know what I mean? Yeah. Meeting in social settings is a lot easier because most people go out there looking to talk to somebody, expecting to talk to somebody or whatever, right? That's where that confidence comes back into play. If you step up and be <coughs> like, yo, what's happening? My name Joe. I'm I'm you know, I'm trying to see what's up. Yeah. Shawty gonna fall. But also, you got, you got to remember. You might need to bark at her. Roo, roo. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Hey, bark it. Yeah, bark at him. I was about to say, we're going to ice, put an icing on this cake. What you were saying about going out, you got to remember this also, niggas. If you go out, sometimes you, you may be able to, like, persuade them. I'm not a fan of changing people. But if you're going out and you meeting girls at brunches, you got to know that there's a high chance that this her. Mm -hmm. So don't be out there talking about some, oh, Bitch, are you always going out? All right. Like, well, nigga, you met her out. So. Right. Right. That's what she liked to do. Yeah, nigga. She liked to eat ego waffles and twerk with them them red ego waffles with yeah. the white shit on it. Yeah. And twerk and eat chicken. Oh. Yeah, well, me and Banks was on red ego waffles. <laughs> them red ego waffles and that uh that wall with the grass. Hey, on I it. ain't gonna hold you, man. A nigga called my plate four one time, but egos is top tier, nigga. Oh, I like Eggo waffles. Eggos is amazing, nigga. I, uh, I cook them. Uh, I cook them kind of weird. I like my Eggo waffles with a certain texture. So what I do is, of course, you put them in the freezer. This nigga is shaking his head. Nigga ain't even listening, bro. Nigga closed minded, bro. Anyway, man, I put you them in this the, texture shit. <laughs> <laughs> I put them in the freeze. I mean, of course, you put them in the freezer. I put them in a the toaster, but I don't toast. I don't cook them all the way in the toaster. I like get them unthawed. And then I take them out of the toaster. I put the butter on. Then I microwave them. Nigga, that is disgusting. It I don't know, bro. It tastes good. It makes it like extra soft. <sighs> what is disgusting about it? It's like it's still wet. No, it, it, no, it's cooked. It's just kind of like fluffy. It's, fl it's fluffy. That's crazy. It makes it fluffy. They got fluffy egos, bro. Just buy those. Put them in the fucking toaster and cook them all the way through. Because sometimes when niggas cook them in the toaster, they cook them too long. Yeah, bro. That's why there's a timer on it. You, man. Anywho, I like to cook mine toasted both sides all the way through. Slap some butter on it so it softens up. Then I get fancy and slap that strawberry jelly on top. All right. So you lost me with that. With the syrup. Psh. You lost me with that. Man, Waffle House, I hop, ain't nobody got got shit on me. But um, like I was saying, uh, me and Banks was we was on a bonus and we was talking about how he was he pulled something at the brunch spot, and um, I was like, damn, I saluted Banks because I was like, bro, you not a brunch nigga because we all know Banks really don't eat nothing for real. Mm -hmm. So I was like, bro, you don't eat chicken, you don't eat seafood for real. <laughs> Oh, like, nigga, what that you That nigga mean? be like, let me get llama beans. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he had posted the picture in the middle in the group chat. I was like, nigga, you about to be hungry by six, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> that nigga did text back talking about he hungry again. <laughs> See, nigga, I, I, nigga, in the brunch, I be stuffed, nigga. Yeah, nigga give me, give me the Itis. shrimp and grits, nigga. I'm sleep after I leave brunch, nigga. And I'm on the mimosas heavy. <clears throat> Yeah, he was talking about he don't drink more. I'm like, nigga, give me about five mimosas, nigga. Five, nigga. I'm fucked up. Like, <laughs> hey. I'm a mosa man. Yeah. 
Best that, that would actually be a funny little cape, you know, to have mimosa yeah. man. Best mimosa. I don't know what the spot is, but we was out in Vegas for a uh, Tremaine uh, bachelor party, whatever bachelor trip. Yeah, bro, them nigga, they had the mimosa, bro. Them bitches was in rainbow colors, bro. Nah, that's they crazy. just brought that shit out. That shit was five they on the glass. They give y'all pride mimosas. Yeah, them them zesty mimosas hit yeah. the spot, nigga. <laughs> Pause. I need more of them zesty mimosas, bro. <laughs> One of them bitches was blue, bro. That was just all that, bro. This shit fire. That was uh, funny. Last one from Raheem. He said, "What year did rap stop being your favorite genre of music to listen to?" Damn, nigga, you just gonna assume? And then I'm about to say, man, you know what happened when you assume? You make an ass out of yourself. How you know? It's actually a, you. You make an ass out of you and me. I never heard that. I said, yeah, I always assume. heard. <laughs> never heard that before. Yeah. I always heard when you assume you make an ass out of yourself. I ain't never heard of you and me. Yeah. So nigga was around. Nigga, you was around too many old Man, people. my dad said that shit to me. I was like, what the fuck? That nigga made that shit up. I was like, I'd <laughs> never assume again, nigga. <laughs> <coughs> nigga said, my bad, OG. I'm like, ain't nobody ever gonna say no shit like that to me again. <laughs> oh man, Raheem, I don't know how to answer your question, bro. Cause I don't, I don't, I love R and B, but I don't think it was ever a point where like I just love R and B like undoubtedly more than rap. Yeah, that's a great point actually because I'm I'm always gonna listen to rap over R and like not over R and B, but like if a rap album drop and an R and B album drop on the same day, I'm nine times out of ten gonna play the rap album first. You know it what I'm saying? On, it depends on the mood for me. True indeed. Depends on who it is also. True indeed. Let's be honest. But I'm saying I, like if they two top tier <clears throat> artists, I'm trying to put everything on the same playing field. You know what I'm saying? All right. So let's say this, and it and it doesn't really mean nothing at the end of the day. But right. let's say Anderson Pack. Damn. No worry. He dropped a No Worries album. Yeah. And a future album come out the same night. Damn, I'm listening to Anderson Pack. Yeah, I'm listening to Anderson. <laughs> I'm listening to Anderson Pack. So it's, it's, uh, it's, yeah. yeah. I, I want to hear the R and B because the R and B, especially at midnight. I want to hear the R and B first. The R and B going. That's a good point. So I mean, me I'm gonna say this. Like I, I, I do love R and B for sure, for sure. Uh, and I definitely been listening to a lot more R and B than rap as of late. But um. I still wouldn't necessarily say that it's my favorite genre over rap, you know? If I had to pick a year, I probably would just say, um, not necessarily a year, time, probably early 2000s. I feel like I was listening to more R&B in the early 2000s than any other time. I feel like um, so, as I'm getting older, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm ready for shit to start slowing down, you know what I mean? And yeah. R&B definitely fits the mood a, a lot more times. Hey man, I did used to be one of them niggas that had been like no rap on Sundays. Yeah, yeah. R and B only, but I kinda like I kinda been breaking that rule a little rule a lot. Mm -hmm. It is what it is, man. Nah, I fuck with that no rap on Sundays. Yeah. But it's crazy. Nigga be listening, uh, nigga be like no rap on Sunday, but a nigga be listening to somebody talking about uh <laughs> pause. Like the Tyrese song Bedroom Bully. Uh -huh. Nigga listen out Bedroom Bully. No, that's Sunday. crazy. Like this ain't a part of the Lord's plan. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Especially a nigga that listen to the song talking about some being a bedroom bully, then you go watch football. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. He <laughs> like, that's enough sex tunes. Let's yeah, watch yeah. let's watch some gridiron football. <laughs> That's crazy. But hey, man, the sending listening questions, once again, hit us up, mail at ariopodcast.com, mail at R A O Podcast. Dot com. All right, man. So I don't know if you've been watching what's going to be going off. They started the Young Dolph case. Yeah. Shit, shit, shit hectic out here. So they came out the gate on some crazy shit. So big they ain't wasting no time. <clears throat> yeah, bro. I people kind of 2024 is really crazy because you you know. Back in the day, we used to always speculate things, and we always used to didn't get like full confirmations on things. We get in 2024, we get confirmations on everything. Nobody hiding nothing anymore. I hate to refer to it because everyone is, but fucking Cat Williams, <laughs> like damn. Now see the Cat Williams, the Cassie shit happened before the Cat Williams interview, but even no, no, no. I think <clears throat> that I mean you talking about how people say he opened up the floodgates. Oh, Basically, like he he kind of predicted that this year we were gonna learn a lot about a lot of people. Okay, 
So everybody for years, like even since nigga, we was young niggas, everybody speculated, oh, this nigga Diddy gay. Yeah. Now we find out like Diddy really, it was like one of the things, well, you don't got no proof for real, but it's just like, they were like, man, some freaky shit be going on in the Diddy parties. Man, no, I know I'm, I'm bringing up bruh name, but, but I always heard freaky shit be going on on them Jamie Foxx parties too. I could believe that. And Jamie everybody Fox seemed like one of them. And everybody's starting to bring up like, bro, Jamie Foxx really don't be hanging out with niggas for real. You seen that video of his daughter wedding? It was mm-hmm. nothing with white people at that wedding. Yeah, I could believe that. It was the people were like, bro, why is it only four black people at the wedding? So it's like, that. yeah, man. And then you seen the shit with Jerry Jones when Jerry Jones was like telling the Nah, that was crazy. He was telling the what players had. He was telling the size of the players meets and shit. Yeah, yeah that was that insane. shit that wouldn't happen back in the day. Nah, fuck no. Fuck everybody, because no. everybody used to say got an eight inch dick. I was like, whoa, what the fuck? Yeah, because everybody used to say even? everybody would say the NFL was kind of like on some slave trade and some mandango shit. And everybody used to say just say that, but like you hear an owner of a team looking at players and be like, oh yeah, he got a this size dick and all that. That shit weird, bro. Like, everything is, like, coming out to the light. So, with the young Dolph uh, situation, everybody used to be like, oh, yeah, Gotti and them had something to do with this shit. Yeah, yeah. And now they came out of the gate, bro. They said the nigga Gotti brother put a $100,000 hit on Dolph. Yep. And they got approved. They're like, yeah, this nigga did this shit, bro. Yep. And the, 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 the craziest part about it is... I doubt it was him. You know what I'm saying? Dolph probably was like, hey, and I don't even want to speculate that, but golly, I think this year we're going to find out a lot of crazy shit. Yeah. But what you what you meant by what you said just a couple of seconds ago? You can't be that close, and he shouldn't have been that close. You get what I'm saying? You talking about Jude? Yeah. Oh. Uh, that should have went through so many channels beforehand. Yeah. Cause he, you see, when the money was was dropped, <coughs> ain't nobody know who 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 it came from or what. You remember when Jeezy put the hit on 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 on, on Gucci? Well, yeah, yeah. When Gucci, well, yeah. When Jeezy put the hit on Gucci, he said that shit directly on the video. He was like, "Yeah, bring me that fuck nigga chain." So he did it in a way to where knowingly you can't you can't like. This is entertainment. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. If it happens, you can't blame me for this. Yeah. I'm removed directly from this scenario. Yeah. Also, when I feel like when Jeezy put the hit out on Gucci, I think Jeezy didn't think it all the way through. When he when he he didn't real uh, he probably should have realized he was in Atlanta. I think he I, did think it all the way through. I think it was just a hasty decision. Yeah, I mean, it shouldn't happen. Right, it he shouldn't could, happen. It's crazy that no criminal shit ever came up on Jeezy for doing that shit. But when he they, said they that, they did shit, try. But but when that nigga said that shit, it was on some. When I when I first heard the shit, because I seen I seen the video before the whole Gucci shit even happened. When I seen as a young nigga, when I seen that video, I was like, oh, he just mean like go beat that nigga up and take his chain. But you don't think about it, like bro. Nigga, you got you could carry guns in Atlanta, nigga. If a nigga come in, if you say, "Oh, you you got niggas coming for me and they come and get my chain," I'm not about to let no nigga beat me up. I'm shooting the fuck out of the nigga. Right. Yeah. Right. And most like most southern states have a defend yourself law. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So in that regard, yeah, it's no question. <clears throat> like Gucci was in like that's why Gucci always going to be one of my favorite artists. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. Gucci stood 10 toes in that shit, yeah. Just like when um, when G- when uh, Fifty Cent he had that what that slow bucks nigga on stage with him. It's different in New York, even though New York niggas got guns, right? It was like he had niggas take that nigga chain, but it was just like nigga, give me that chain. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't on no. It was like niggas like what much you can do up in there, but it's like no in the south. If a nigga say go get that nigga chain, it's going to be yeah, gun it's murder. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's, it's murder. That's that's. Like, even growing up, that's what I've always thought. If yeah. I got to take something, that's why I've never been a fan of robbery, like taking from other people. If I got to take it, it's murder. It's one way or the other. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> so with this, I thought I thought it was Wayne. So he put the, uh, he pretty much knew that Dolph was going to be in the city. Dolph was doing a turkey drive. 
So he was like, oh, the nigga doing a, tur- the nigga doing a turkey drive. Let's get him then. That's crazy. That's corny as fuck. That's crazy. And and not even to sound no kind of way, but it seems like Dolph was really keeping shit like distant. You know what I'm saying? Keeping to himself, doing his thing, and whatever they said on wax type shit. But he ain't let none of that spill over. Everything came from they side. Yeah, he got comfortable. Yeah, he was in the. He was in the. Uh, but yeah. I'm talking about even back to the hundred shots and all of that. You know what I mean? Like, you don't really hear stories of Dolph going after them. You hear stories of CMG going after Dolph. Yeah. And and it's a lot of backstory to that. Involving brothers and and family and all of that shit, but yeah, he kept it discreet. But until until Dolph got killed, obviously Big Juke he got killed also. Yeah, he got killed at his damn uncle funeral. Mm. That shit, yeah, they waited till he stepped out and they killed him. The nigga put a hundred thousand. Well, he ain't even really. They found out that the dudes only got eight hundred dollars. Yeah. So, well, here's the thing: when you doing. I ain't saying no names or nothing like that. I had a homie come to me in a same in a in a very similar situation. When you're doing a hit and you're getting paid after, you're never gonna get the amount. Yeah, you never. You're never gonna get the amount. Cause nigga, why would I give you the money? You just committed murder. Yeah, nigga, I'm not about to give you the money, nigga. I'm gonna have you think you're gonna do it. I'm gonna give you a little down payment. I'm not saying I'm about to put a hit, but it's just obvious, it's obvious logic. Like, nigga, why the fuck would I pay you the whole money? Exactly. Cause like at the now end of the day, I've commissioned this. Yeah, at the at the end of the day, nigga, you you did the murder. Cause I'd be like, bro, I don't know this nigga, dog. I ain't I ain't tell this nigga to put this hit out on nobody. So I say it to say when you not when you have no money in advance, <clears throat> you assume all risk and liability. Yeah. And also, dog, the nigga put a hundred dollar hit, dog. Let's be honest. I don't know nobody personally got hit, but we watch we watch YouTube videos. Niggas get knocked off for way less. <laughs> way less. So a hundred thousand dollars is actually extreme. I've seen <laughs> videos, I've seen different shit. Niggas nigga paid a junkie a bag full of burgers. Like, go get this nigga. Mm-hmm. You get one of you your could, get one you, of your cousins that geeking. Yeah, nigga, I give you a line. You could pay a sensible man five thousand dollars. Yeah, especially a nigga that ain't got no money. Yeah, nigga. I'm just telling you. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's affordable. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, nah, a hundred thousand. I mean, it, it, considering it's 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 he a just, big rapper. I yeah. feel like Juke. He just said a hundred thousand, just just to guarantee that it happened. I don't know. I mean. In that regard, you you get rid of the the biggest nigga in the city, yeah, and you're you're back up. So a hundred thousand would have made sense, but not again. This shit was shaky from the jump. Yeah, yeah. Fulio used to have bars like that. He was calling. He Fulio called himself the biggest up. He was like, he said, you got you get to. He said, I had a bar like, if you get the biggest up, it's like Pokemon. You got to catch them all. Yeah. Different shit like that. Like, yeah, nigga. He knew that. Well, niggas just know they the biggest prize in the city. So mm-hmm. it's like, yeah. It is what it is on that situation. But this nigga pretty much just paid. He didn't even pay the money, but he 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 uh commissioned the hundred thousand possibly. And he ended up getting himself killed himself. Mm-hmm. Cause I know you just said I should have been other completely side, removed. You said the other side. See, he was he was in a vulnerable situation because he can't he had to come back to the city because he had to bury his uncle. Sorry, aunt. <laughs> you you did, nigga. I'm not gonna <laughs> join you. Yeah, I would have just paid for the funeral. I would have, uh, nigga. I was like, hey, bro, put your phone up. Yeah, to Facetime me. Yeah, one hundred percent. Y'all got Zoom, like, yeah. nigga. And from what I seen, the uncle funeral was like live streamed. Yeah, like it was crazy. a big funeral. It was like live streaming and shit. I mean, I could imagine they they all got both sides got deep ties in the city. Yeah, because like literally after the doll shit, shit situation happened, 
the nigga Gotti mama restaurant got shot up. That should have told you, like, hey, this shit not a game. And mm-hmm. niggas sliding for real. Mm-hmm. Niggas, them niggas that did the shit, they got, they went to the police to get off the streets because shit was hectic for them. Mm-hmm. So that should have been a lesson, like, bro, don't ever come back to the city. And man, I'm a, I, I fuck with Gotti, but I was so when this, so when this happened, everybody was like, bro, you not, you gotta know that Gotti had something to do with this situation. I was like, I don't know necessarily. It might have been because you don't. Just because a nigga your brother don't mean you got to think just like your brother. Nigga, your brother's another human being, too. It ain't even that. Like, some of the shit, some of the shit <coughs> Dolph was saying about Gotti, like, I don't feel like any of what Dolph said was a lie. Nothing. Yeah. Not, also, nothing, none of these niggas said should have been that serious where you want to kill each other and you want to put hits out on each other. That's, I feel like, that's real. I, I feel like all this shit could have been handled with a nice talk. That's real, actually. I feel like Dolph, Dolph, Dolph was doing too too much, like for them. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. that nigga was getting. He was doing too real much bragging, much. especially the bulletproof. Album. Nah, not even bragging. That nigga was getting too much money. That nigga was getting too much money. Yeah. At the end of all this shit, all this shit spawned. Of course, we not from Memphis. We don't know the intricacy. Right. The outside looking in, it like the this shit happened because the nigga ain't want to sign to the nigga. Mm, it's way deeper than that. Of course, I know. I'm saying I'm not from Memphis. Right, right, I don't, right, I don't, right, know, right, I don't know right, exact. Right. Yeah. I'm saying from an outside niggas from Jacksonville. We don't know the. Of course, everything is deeper than. Even yeah, the yeah situation, I'm just saying. Even, I don't think that is. I don't think that was the catalyst. Yeah, even like the situations in Jacksonville, we know more. Mm-hmm. But on the outside, looking in, looking like, oh, these nigga got this. These two sides beefing. Like, we right, know right. it's more than what it is, but we don't need to say it. Right. Just like the Memphis niggas don't need to say it, but outside on us, it's just like these n- niggas just had a disagreement and it was as far as disrespect. I think that the the signing <clears throat> shit was like just a start to things. Like, all right, we got to keep separate sides type shit, but yeah. Yeah. Hey man, to any young people, because we do got some people that's like 18 and whatnot. We just had a listener in his mid 20 centers listen question. To the young niggas that's in the streets, bro, y'all need to pay close attention to this case. Because if y'all in the streets, this is what's going to happen to you. It's no, it's no happy endings. You're either going to be dead or you're going to go to jail. You're going to have, niggas say he's going to give you $100,000 for to kill somebody. You're not getting $100,000. These niggas got $800. Matter of fact, one of these niggas when they did the when they killed Dolph, it was the nigga daughter birthday. Damn. He did that shit on his daughter birthday, bro. That's insane, bro. <sighs> and one of the niggas was like, bro, the way the lawyer was talking about this nigga was insane. Oh yeah, yeah, I got him. Oh, he said, oh, yeah, he was talking about the money. He was like, yeah, you gonna buy the like all kind of. I think this is one right here. Yeah, yeah I, I asked you, I asked you, I don't think. Did y'all drive out there? Yeah, we drove with them. Stay in a hotel. Yeah, you stay in the hotel. About how long were you gone? I was gone a couple days. I ain't had any more money on me. Any more money? Run out of money, you gotta come back. Yeah, I gotta come back. And you come back, do you pick up that money from the old woman? Yeah, I, I picked up the money from her. And I saw how much it was. I'm like, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. You could spend that on pills in one day, I bet. Yeah, that, that's over. Yeah, I can bet it. What'd you do with the letter? I flushed down the toilet at the hotel room. All right. Is that the only time you got any money from Justin? Nah, uh, a couple days later. Uh, I yeah, yeah, I don't know if y'all heard, but the lawyer was like, yeah, you just going to spend that money on pills and shit, bro. He said, like, man, you a monkey. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you ain't going to do nothing with that money for real, for real. That's crazy. Yeah, that whole situation is insane, man. Um, it, it, it's unfortunate. Yeah. Playing the video for the uh, Savannah's right now. I ain't gonna play the whole thing. Hopefully, this not the one of him actually getting nah, shot. Nah, it ain't. It ain't. This one cut off. Oh, okay. This was kind of weird to me. Well, to me, <clears throat> that's his security guard. His security was way too comfortable. I think that was his, that was his brother. His, yeah? Yeah, that was his brother. I thought. Okay. Because his brother, his brother actually shot back. I'm sure gotcha. the, sure the brother ain't die. Because, bro, when they, um, that one nigga, when he went to the glass, bro, he was just swinging the Drake. He was just shooting that bit, whatever. So I'm shot his, I'm shot the nigga brother ain't get shot too. 
Yeah. Now this is weird to me. Now I ain't saying the girl had nothing to do with it. I know everybody was saying everybody was like, "Man, fuck that cookie company or whatever the cookie." Initially, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. they were like, "Man, they set them up. They probably told this girl if you look at her, bro, she ain't even really got enough time to like even say she's just ringing up some fucking cookies." Yeah. Now this is weird to me. Like when well, did she? Not just that he invested a lot of money into that that spot. So yeah. All right, you see her run to the back. How did she know when to run? Well, I mean, you see, see two the niggas, niggas get out with guns. Okay. Hold up. So this is live. So she runs back, and y'all, I'm not saying this girl had nothing to do with it. It's just kind of weird. I don't it, think. It, I don't think that she ran to the. She ran to the back. I think it's live, bro. Right, but I don't think that <clears throat> that's the same time that she. Like, I don't think she ran to the back as this car pulls up. You you get what I'm saying? I think they're showing what happened. I when, thought it was a camera cut. Nah, I think they edited this to show <laughs> Okay. She got scared because this happened. Okay. You get what I'm saying? So where she's standing, she probably saw him jump out just like that. Okay. So she walk into the back. So, like she, what is that? So at this point, she see the niggas with the two guns. Yes, and she can't really say nothing to Dolph, bro. It's like a, it's like a nigga. She like, probably she's a woman yelling, also. "Oh my god!" This is yeah. a, this is a young girl also. She can't she can't save this nigga. He's a grown man. Now that run is kind of crazy though. Yeah, the way she just ran off. Yeah, and yeah, it's like one of them restaurants where like it's like you can't let him. He would have had to like jump over the counter or something. And we don't know if he jumped over. He the couldn't counter. even hold that shit. Yeah, bro. He couldn't even he was just aiming that shit everywhere. That's his brother running out. Yeah. That's how most of the niggas shoot it when they had that shit. Well, yeah. you know the you know yeah. that gun just got a bad aim anyway. They mm-hmm. just they just swing the shit. Pause. Oh, never mind. That's not a swing. He can't control that he shit. He can't at all. He could have shot can't. the homie too. Yeah. Like, it, you could tell it was too powerful for him. Look, as soon as he started shooting, watch his feet. Yeah, that was his first time ever shooting that shit. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah, it's crazy. Man, rest in peace, off. We're going to have more developments. It, it, uh, they did say today, which is, I was bringing up the whole Gotti. Apparently, Gotti paid 50000 for one of the dude's lawyers. Yeah, I mean, crazy. Oh, this your favorite rapper right here, Rollo. Boy, stop. <laughs> Hell, man. Since a puss ass nigga want to put some money on my boy head, <clears throat> if you want a, 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 a joke pack, we gonna make money off a nigga now. If you want a joke pack, holla at Pat Sproles right now. Click this link. Joke pack. Fuck you talking about, nigga. Y'all put 100000 on my boy. I just made 20000 off your stupid ass, nigga. If you want to jump. Uh, that nigga, that nigga too involved with everything, bro. Everything. He Right now, he just trying to get back relevant. And <laughs> that shit. He doing a lot of corny activities. Oh, well, if you made 20000 get at the dog family, dumbass nigga. He not he not he not doing nothing respectable right now. I'm gonna be honest. Like, yeah, he actually my day need to ask me for what he was doing at that rich homie Quan funeral. Yeah, and then I don't know if you seen it. He shot a video and he was like on uh, Mo Three Grave. Oh that no, nah, that's weird. crazy. That Why the fuck weird. was he doing that? I don't know. That shit was weird, bro. He was standing on on Mo Three headstone. I, it wasn't like on. I don't think he was trying to be disrespectful, but it came off disrespectful. Like, why, bro? Get off his gravestone, bro. That's not a stick. Nah, that's, that's chair. crazy. They got your feet on where the niggas buried at, bro. That shit weird, bro. Anyway, man, let's go ahead and get... Oh, no, no, real quick, real quick before we get they need the ass beats and real niggas a week. I've been anticipating this, man. I'm looking forward to it myself. Come out tonight. What you think gonna happen with the uh, Vince McMahon documentary, some predictions? Um, I definitely think we're gonna see some things (coughs) that make us... You know, look at him a lot differently, and I think yeah, that's yeah. why he's trying to get ahead of it in every right. way he can. Yeah, they, they announced today. They said he's been trying to buy that documentary the past couple of days. He dropped a press release. I ain't gonna read the press release. He was like, "Yeah, this ain't." He's like, "This not me, y'all. This Vince McMahon, the character. That's not me as a human being." 
I think that we're going to see a lot of things that, I, 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 just being honest, make us question the loyalty to like <laughs> the organization, like wrestling. Uh, yeah. No one can refute what WWE gave to the world. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Man. Y'all know I love wrestling, bro. I hope there's nothing in that thing. I mean, what a documentary that make me not want to watch WWE no more. I'm gonna tell you now. It's probably a lot of racist shit. It's probably a lot of sexual shit, like overly sexualized shit. It might be some shit to where Vince might have been on some. Hey, you got to do some humiliating shit before you can be involved, you know. And it might involve some gay shit. Um, it's gonna open up a lot of questions. It's gonna open up a lot of things. I think that we're gonna see him go into overdrive moving forward from this to try and bring his name back but hey man yo it's over for him after this one yeah white people they got this special ability when they get in trouble they die so he might just die true like uh what's what's bro from penn state nigga said a special ability. <laughs> <laughs> yeah white people yeah bro <laughs> what was that uh damn what was his name yeah he 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 got up out of that quick too <laughs> he died the next day bro he was like lord that coach yeah that coach from penn state when all that shit came out uh yeah he died. Damn, I can't day. remember his name. That nigga and and honestly he wasn't even in the fire of it as much as you know what I'm saying. He wasn't in it yet, but it was like one of them situations where like all that shit happened. He knew about he it. Had he to, was he watching. Had to know yep, about yep. It. Joe Paterno. Joe Paterno. Yep. Yep. Was it like was it Sandusky or some shit like that? Mm hmm. Yeah. Sandusky scandal. Yeah, Sandusky, Penn State. Yeah. Yeah, it was like one of them situations where like, bro, I know you ain't do something, but you knew. You knew for yeah. sure. Yeah. He might have even <clears throat> aided in some of that shit. I hate that, bro. I don't put shit past people no yeah, more. I don't put shit past nobody. That's what I said, bro. Like, yeah, white people, when they get in trouble, they die. They die instantly. What's it because? It's taking, them, it's taking them a while, though, but yeah. Who that? Uh, what's bro name? Uh, the film dude. Uh, oh, uh, Weinstein. Yeah, Weinstein. It's taking, it's taking <laughs> a minute. Epstein. <laughs> Epstein died. It took him a little bit. He, 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 he's maybe a, a month. Maybe a month. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> yeah. White people when you when they get that freaky shit, yeah, they die. Get a like, of that quick. It's like they got like a red switch. They got like a reef suit. They're like, oh, hit <laughs> that. Oh, you got oh, nigga got caught with a bunch of kids, but let yeah, me hit that yeah. button, <laughs> that, that shutdown button. So, Vince, if that shit too bad, bro, you you lived you lived a long life. You you about you damn near eighty, bro. Go ahead and hit that button, bro. You think you think uh, your boy <clears throat> gonna hit that button? Who? To my diddler, he he black, he got suffer. <laughs> that's that's they that's say, crazy. They say he, but that is true. Also, they said some shit about like he was on suicide watch. That's kind of that's that's actually normal. normal. Any, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah normal. that's normal. Most most niggas knew that. Yeah. <coughs> when and you it, get when you get a, <coughs> arrested and you know you're facing potentially life in prison, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah you're gonna be on suicide watch. That's a a shock. Yeah, yeah, that's a, yeah, definitely it's a shock to your system. Like, yeah, nigga, that's crazy. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, save it. I was gonna get Tiger his flowers this episode. Boy, I seen that shit in the notes. I said, "Fuck no." I'm gonna, I'm, I'm ready to shit on the garden. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna, but Tiger man, he went platinum. Now actually, he didn't go platinum, but he went diamond for taste. Congrats, do, do, do. nigga do, made do, do, a do, career do. out of being ass. Do, 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 do. You a hater. You made a career out of being a hater, man. Yeah. Real niggas of the week, not Joe. Yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. I got Aja Wilson, three time WNBA MVP. Salute, salute to her. Salute. Real shit. I'm mad you 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 uh you with Bam. Should have been with me. I'm just playing. She's too tall for me. Yeah, I was gonna say two seven footers. <laughs> but yeah, whatever kid they have, bro, that nigga gonna be athletic like a motherfucker, bro. For real. That nigga gonna be a juggernaut. That nigga gonna be twelve and seven four. <laughs> I don't know if you seen that today, bro. They got that white boy, that boy, that white boy thirteen seven three. Nah, that's crazy. Bro, they had bro, of course, you know, a uh a thirteen year old. What a thirteen year old be about like five four nigga. Yeah, for real. Bro, he out there playing with them kids. I'm like, bro, if y'all don't make him play with 
grown ass. For real, man, put bro. that nigga in varsity right now, <laughs> <laughs> bro. He would just hit. I'm gonna be honest. Shit. I'm gonna be honest, dog. If I, if I'm dunking on everybody <clears throat> at seven three. That's what he was doing, nigga. He was throwing I'm jumping from the, Yeah, I'm jumping from the free <laughs> throw and everything. I'm having fun, nigga. And one mixtape. Oh, nigga. If I'm a, if I'm under the parents. I'm not about to watch my kid get dunked about seven three. Fuck kids. no, I'm, I'm gonna shoot that complain. nigga. All right, bro. I'm this joking. <laughs> but nah, real shit though. At seven three, I'm point guard. I don't give a fuck what, but I'm every position, nigga. I'm yeah. Magic Johnson. That's what he was. That nigga was in the he was in the paint. He was everything. <laughs> Watch when he get grown, he gonna be ass. Yeah, they always be ass. All them kids that be extra tall, they be ass when they get older. Yeah, it's like they don't develop nothing. They just, nothing they, at all. They be like I'm tall, nigga. <laughs> nigga develop height and that's it. <laughs> that's it, bro. And also, man, a lot of the time when them kids be that grown that quick, they bones get brittle because uh-huh. they be like, yeah, you're not supposed to be that tall fast, at that yeah. age. Yeah, they be like, bro, from uh, they be like, uh, they don't drink enough milk. Yeah, you'd be like Andre the Giant. <laughs> nigga said I was drinking that milk, bro. That's crazy, man. Andre the Giant? What the fuck? That nigga was he, bro. That nigga was a giant. <laughs> yeah, nigga, bone nigga, was on nigga. griddle. Yeah, his bone was his, He broke down because he was so big. Well, that's different. Hey, man, I hope I don't see Andre the Giant in that Vince documentary. What we find out, nigga, Andre the Giant was putting fists up women ass. Damn, nigga, that you would are, be insane. Call me all. <laughs> that would be insane. I would definitely stop watching wrestling after that. Totally <laughs> fun, but I'm Andre the Giant. Oh, Bring man. me that ass. This nigga going crazy. Yeah, I ain't trying to get canceled, bro. Ooh, we look what that money make a bitch do. That's right. actually fitting for this <laughs> Vince documentary. Are we normal now? <laughs> <coughs> yeah, we normal. All right, I got um next one. I got the Raptors organization. Man, fuck these niggas. I had I was debating in my head. I was like, should I get these Raptors? I just give it to Vince Carter because I was about to give it to the Raptors. I, I, I had to think about it for a second because I because I had I heard some um, intel. Apparently, they giving uh, Vince Carter they return to the jersey, but apparently a lot of the higher ups don't want this to happen. Really? Yeah, man. Why? They I couldn't imagine. They don't like the way the nigga left the team. He did. He did lead. He did lead the team on some fuck shit. But still, man, he he made the Raptors cool back in the day. And not just that shit. Why wouldn't he lead the team? He had no chance of ever winning. Yeah, they didn't. They didn't. They didn't give him nothing for real. Niggas watched the Raptors to watch Vince Carter. Well, till T Mac was over there. Yeah, they were fired, bro. They yeah. they didn't develop T Mac. They traded T Mac, yeah. and T Mac went to Orlando. Mm-hmm. Went crazy. That nigga, he was wilding though. His last, his last year with the Raptors, he was like playing ass. As soon as he went to the Nets, he was turning that up. Nigga, that nigga went crazy when he went to the Nets. But still, man, y'all niggas, he man, he changed, he changed the culture for y'all niggas. For real? He had niggas wearing Raptors jerseys. I ain't never seen a nigga wear a Raptors jersey till they, till T Mac was not T Mac. Uh, T Mac and Vince Carter yeah, yeah. was on the team. Yeah, they both changed the culture. Now T Mac don't deserve nah, to get a jersey. T-Mac. T Mac <clears throat> definitely, you know, had some shine there, but T Mac shined when he left. Yeah, yeah. Like you said. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. It was Vince Carter team when he was on the rap. <clears throat> yeah, it was some it was some higher ups. They said they wanted Kyle Lowry jersey retired before him. Bro, Kyle Lowry still play, bro. Nigga, that's insane. No, no, Kyle Lowry's a Raptors legend. He won a ring too there. I'll too. give you that. You gotta but respect me. I'll give you that. But <clears throat> not a Vince Carter bro. We only talk about the Raptors because of Vince Carter. Let's be honest, bro. Kyle Lowry, the best Raptor ever. I give you that. Yeah, he the best Raptor ever. I would definitely. So yeah, that. definitely retired Kyle Lowry, but the nigga still playing, and he probably yeah. gonna play about a year or two more. Yeah, he might stretch three out, depending on depend, he... depending on what Philly do. I don't know. You can't call that <laughs> nigga ass. <laughs> Oh yeah, bro. I ain't calling that nigga. <laughs> yeah, y'all hey, that y'all was nigga. a freaky ass goatee that nigga Vince Carter had in that picture too. 
Oh, that was nasty. <laughs> that was nasty word. What they call that shit? The soul patch? I don't. I don't know what that is. They call that shit the flavor saver. D- d- oh my god. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, next nigga one. Nigga had a landing strip on his chin. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga look like nigga look like know who you look like, you know Frozone. Ah, that's hilarious. Like Frozone, bro. He does. Uh, I got this nigga Reggie. I got a lot of real niggas of the week this week. I y'all. see. I got this nigga Reggie Bush, man. He finally getting his reparations from the pl- from the college football plantation. I'm gonna get. I think he gonna get it. They tried to shadow ban this nigga. He's like, nah, run me my coins, bro. Y'all got the NIL now. Give me all that money, bro. All Straight that up. infringement y'all was doing. Yep. Give me, give me my money. You think he gonna get something? Uh, I don't because I don't think <clears throat> that they fuck with him in South. I mean, in um, um, in California. But I hope he does, honestly. Yeah, they said he was fucking too many Kardashians. Yeah. Uh, speaking of people getting their reparations, I had no idea about this, but shout out the Tiny, Ti, and the OMG girls. They went a massive. Seventy-one million dollar award because from infringement from this doll company called LOL Surprise. Never heard of them. Y'all probably might have bankrupt them motherfuckers. I never heard For of them. For real, shit. seventy-three mil is crazy. Yeah. Seventeen. I mean, seventeen million dollars in damages. Fifty-three million in punitive damages. Yeah. Yeah, man. Salute to them. That's another bag for Ti. And the change added up to make it. You know. <coughs> yeah. I actually had to. I forgot to post a picture, bro. They blatantly stole them girl images. Like it was like disgustingly the way they stole the images. Yeah, it was crazy. I got this one nigga. I don't know bro name, but he uh, he was fucking this one girl. She was cheating on her man. I guess after they got done doing what they're doing, he grabbed her phone and and uh, left some voice messages for her man it's crazy. on her phone. Marvin. I got your dime. She want Marvin. me to. She met. She just let me fuck her. She just oh, let me fuck her, dirt. I was just fucking the shit out of her. Then I seen you in the message. We done. Keep her. She's a slut. She was talking shit about you and all, oh, son. Damn, that's some real shit, bro. Salute him, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. The last text was. It's a celebration. I guess it's not a celebration no more. Yeah. All right, this may know. this may sound crazy. I got V's dad as as my uh, real nigga of the week. Yeah, I ain't know V's had a dad, bro. I've been seeing a nigga on social media lately, but I ain't know it was V's dad. Yeah, this is dad, bro. He got all this. I don't know why he got up at the shop, but the nigga V's bought his dad a, a shop and all kind of cars and shit. Yeah. Early had to bust the shop open. You know what I'm saying? I get up every day. You know what I'm saying. That's what I do to the tour start. Nigga push big six three. Nigga push big 6'3", boy. It's a 15, but fuck it. My son bought it. <laughs> V's bought me this. <coughs> he bought me this in 15. That's when he first started getting money. He bought me the Honda Accord. Let me see if I got some more shit in here for y'all. <laughs> I'm somebody's dad. Y'all want some bleach? Let's see if I got, oh yeah, I got something in here for y'all. Y'all want some merch? We keep merch. Ganger, we keep gangers. This is my little, what you call them, collection. Some of the stuff I've been collecting since, since V's been uh, touring. Y'all ain't got this. Y'all ain't got that. Y'all ain't got none of these. Y'all ain't got uh what? <clears throat> oh look, Ray, Babyface Ray signed this for me. Shout out to Ray, Face Mob. Oh, that's when we was backstage, you know what I'm saying? I got vintage pieces, you understand? You bum sh- Ha, 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 ha. This first joint. Y'all ain't got no first joints. Drugs ain't even that serious, fam. Drugs ain't even that serious. Y'all ain't got that, do y'all? I'm that baby's peppy. I got some more stuff at the crib that I've been collecting. <coughs> hey, man. Damn, I, I love, love my this. son. Damn, I love my son. <coughs> Man, fanning out, you know what I'm yeah. saying, for your son like this, that's 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 fire. Time to get negative. One thing, all right, well, first thing, I may be reading too much. I, I, of course, he's my real nigga. We got to love this this whole situation. I kind of got the idea that maybe he wasn't in his life all the time. Why you say that? I don't know. I just got that feeling. It's not that it mattered. Obviously, got a good relation with him. It's like he's, like, extra excited that, I don't know. I guess he must just be... All his accolades just got him excited like that. 
I don't. I don't think it's that. I think that you know he probably got online after a con- you could see he was sitting with some people. You know what I'm saying? After a conversation or some shit, he probably lead them cars up there or have somebody drive them type shit. But um, I don't know. He might have trying to been trying to flex that day, but it don't really come off like that to me. Yeah, I might just be looking too far into it. I my only thing the, was my the, only thing was why did he keep all that stuff up at the shop? Keep that at your house, unless he must be trying to show off that V's his son. Well, you talking about like having all the cars and shit like that? Oh no, the cars don't matter. Like, bro, keep your cars up there. It's your shop. My thing was like, why you got all that memorabilia up at the at the shop? It's a it's a mechanic shop. You talking about like the 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 suitcase? Yeah, the suitcase full of the tour, tour merch. Well, I do think that he keeps it up there for conversation. Like, <coughs> oh yeah, this is my son. You know, when people come, he can always show something. You know what I'm saying? When, yeah. we, when we did our last tour, this is some of the stuff that I collected type shit. But he did say early on in the video, this is what I do before the tour starts. So he could be keeping it there. Like, okay, I'm always up at the shop. I know I'm gonna get picked up from the shop when we go on tour type shit. You know. I mean, yeah. so this is suitcase comes with me everywhere. It's something like that. I don't know. Even for myself, I think it's easy to keep personal dear things at your shop like that when you have one. You know what I mean? Okay, I got you. I respect it. Also, OG, if you listen, and tell your son to get off them pills in that cup. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I got this one UPS man, or it might be a FedEx man. I can't remember. We'll find out when I play the video. Somebody was trying to steal FedEx. a package, and he was standing on business. FedEx, y'all. Yeah. Oh no, no. Who are you? No. Open the door. Abre la puerta. No. You know. You know. I don't know. I'm gonna call the police. I call the police now. Hey, what's going on? Hello? Okay. Got you. Got you. Yo. Hey, what's going on? There's a there's a guy in the Honda. He tried to steal your things. <coughs> Bro, it's thirsty to steal them packages. For real. <laughs> hey man, do like me. Wait till they get on the doorstep. I'm just playing out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got this one uh, boxing trainer. Now, it was kind of corny that he jumped in and fought the nigga, but, bro, he had some hands for that nigga. He definitely did. I don't know if I can play it on the YouTube or not, but fuck it. Yeah, I'm playing. It's, it's boxing. Damn, what happened? I'm about to talk to you acting weird, man. All right, so he, he, gave, he gave brother dummies. And you can tell he had been whooping on that nigga the whole fight. Ooh. And they're brawling. And now fighting his brother, his trainer. And now it's getting ugly. Hey, that trainer hit him with a solid one. That first one yeah, that almost tra- rocked his head. Yeah, that, tra- yeah that, that first one had his, we- had his knees weak paws. Yeah, for real. Look at him when he hit the nigga. He hit the nigga with the first one. Hold on. Let me get it. Hold on, look at him. He's like, hold on. He, For real? He said, hold on. He said, hold on. This nigga kind of nice. That nigga hit the ropes and said, I was boxing the wrong one. <laughs> yeah, the trainer should have been in the ring <laughs> fighting, bro. The trainer was more fired than the nigga that was Bruh. fighting. Bro. Bro, look how he looked at him. He's like, my bad, Poppy. Straight up. <laughs> He's like, don't hit me no more, Poppy. That's crazy. Now I will say the the trainer really <coughs> looked like he was just jumping in to talk some shit, but the way the bro, bro ran up, shit, I would have threw them hands too. Yeah, he ran up. Hey, now that I think about it, it, looked like he ran up to him. Like he, yeah, look the at trainer, that. the trainer talking the shit, and then look. Oh yeah, he's throwing a punch. He threw a punch first. Five. Yeah, he threw a punch first. He like, oh, I'm gonna hit you before he hit me. He coming all the way back with the punch. The, yep, tra- the trainer yep. just quicker than him. One hundred percent, quick draw McGraw. Look like, yeah, real time. Yeah, yeah. Nigga, I hit him with a good one and then stepped off. Let's go. <laughs> this what I this what I trained him on. He just ain't execute. <laughs> yeah, he just, he just, he just ass. <laughs> hey, man, it is what it is. I got this one dude, man. He got full custody of his kids. I mean, full custody. His baby mama was not letting him see his kids at all. The court said, "Bet you want to play like that? He get full custody." 
That's what's up. That's a good hey, ladies out there. I know we don't got no scorn women, but if we do got some scorn women with uh, that's that's baby mamas. A good way to lose custody of your kids is not letting your your uh, baby daddy see his kids at all. Happens every time. And them kids look happy as hell too. So. Yeah, like they was happy as fuck. They like they didn't want to be with the mom. Right. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Is them kids speaking Spanish? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah, he got him. He had he got a lot of Los Angeles pregnant. <laughs> and he got a he, he got a few kids now. Yeah. <coughs> But that's what's up. Even for him to have them all with the same woman, you know what I'm saying, and be able to get them all, like, bro, that's a bro. That is a brand new baby. You know how much of a bad woman you gotta be to lose, up. that lose custody uh, of a of a, 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 a baby. That baby looks like that baby like they about four months at, yeah. at that. You gotta be a terrible lady. All right, it's on you, Joseph. Uh, I got this nigga that uh, can't play it on the YouTube, but this nigga, yeah, like he beat up. his baby, uh, his his mom's boyfriend is abusive, hmm. and he beat the nigga up every time he see him. <laughs> Y'all can't just hear. This a big. What's that? What's that? Uh, uh, this like Blanca pulling up on you. Oh, he got a, it's a compilation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> look at, bro, look at how he grabbed that nigga. Oh. He DDT'd that nigga from a headlock. <laughs> Salute him, but at what point do you gotta tell your mom to leave that nigga? Yeah, for real. <laughs> like, bro, can you? Well, she might love that nigga, <clears throat> and he just need to learn to stop putting his hands on her. So he he yeah. taught him. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. But at some point, he gotta be like, all right, now nah, I'm. Gonna yeah, be, that's real. He's gonna eventually get in trouble beating that nigga up in the streets like that, or he'll get shot. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Every every man has this. Oh, every person has their limits. Yeah. You gonna you ain't gonna be beating me up every day, especially well, if, no. Every time you see me, fuck. Yeah, every no. time you see me, especially I'm not gonna be grocery shopping and that, you come beat my ass. That last one, that's in the streets now. Like yeah. it, like he was in front of a barber shop. I'm yeah. getting a fade, and then I'm getting another fade when yeah. I leave out the door. All right, now you're getting shot. Getting you getting faded. <laughs> <laughs> fade on fade. Bro. All right, I don't know if this real or not. Y'all been y'all been spreading this around. I don't know if it's real, but let's hope. I guess I don't know. Uh, this one's from Marcel, the final real nigga of the week. He said, uh, Red Lobster is no longer in bankruptcy. 35-year-old Damola Abin... Man, this is an African scam. African-ass nigga. <coughs> is a new CEO and promised better service, food, and interiors, but no more $20 unlimited shrimp on the standard menu. We're making a comeback. I feel like that would have been... A bigger news <coughs> circuit, if that were true. Nick, every everyone loves Red Lobster. Yeah, like this, this is some say cheese shit. Only reason I added it because a bunch of people's adding is they real nigga of the week. I'm gonna be honest, dog. Also, let's say this is real. I don't know if you noticed, but all the Red Lobsters are pretty much closed in Jacksonville. Mm -hmm. So let's say he did <laughs> make this happen, nigga. Uh, we ain't gonna get we ain't gonna experience it because all the fucking Red Lobsters closed. So. Unless he's going to open them back up, which I strongly doubt he's going to do. But hey, if this is real, salute to him. Well, it says that that they're exiting the um, <coughs> the chapter 9, I mean the chapter 11. So it may be some ground to it? Yeah, it might be. It, it's saying that uh, a judge approved their plan to bounce back from the <laughs> endless shrimp fiasco. Mm, that's what it did. You know, I said this, man. Know what to help them? If they would have added like a brunch type menu to that shit, mm -hmm. if they would have started serving grits and shrimp and like mimosas and shit, that would have turned Red Lobster up instantly. That's real. Um, it does say that they got a new owner. I'm trying to find the name of the owner, but yeah, apparently the dude he's supposed to be like CEO. Yeah. Um, I don't know about the. 
Okay, the old they only got the old CEO listed here, but um, yeah, I mean it looks like there's some grounds to it. I don't know a, a 35 year old CEO. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see, man. I don't eat red lobster anyway, but it, I just I, I'm for a black man on the come up. So yeah, if that's the case, but, then I'm yeah. not eating red lobster. But like I said, if y'all add some cheese grits to the menu, I'm I'm there, bro. I'm any I'm anywhere with some good with some good ass grits. Fuck them grits. <laughs> All right, they need a ass beats. I don't. I can't remember what this was. I'm just gonna press play, and we're gonna be surprised. Oh, Jerry's on. Uh -huh. Why did you have this with the music? Huh? Why is the music over? Oh, yeah, practice. Oh, actually, I'm going to cut this off because this music is going crazy. The music is actually louder than what they're saying. Yeah. It's just pretty much he just measuring, dude. Uh, everybody, Pause. everybody, he wasn't literally measuring them. I mean, he was but, calling out the measurements. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jamie Foxx, he was at the Cowboys. We all know Jamie Foxx from Texas. He a Cowboys fan. He was up at the practice. He was on live. He didn't expect Jerry Jones to say that shit. I'm going to be honest, dog. <coughs> Jerry Jones, the way Jerry Jones looked at him and said all that zesty ass shit, he was a little too comfortable with mm -hmm. Jamie Foxx. So that lets me wonder, like, what all he be talking to Jamie Foxx with and why is he so comfortable saying that some absurd shit like well, that? Well, it wasn't just Jamie Foxx there, you could tell. And I think that, you know, not even to sound no kind of way, I think he was on some, like, chopping block type shit. Like, hey, this what these niggas is on. Yeah. But for him to be have Jamie Foxx, he obviously, White. he's obviously cool with Jamie Foxx to have him at the practice. White folks be them. fixated with black, black penis. <coughs> I, yeah. Like I don't understand it, but what do they call that shit? The Mandingo shit. Them, one of them dudes, them cut dudes, they be letting them, they wives get yeah. fucked by black dudes and be yeah. watching it. I know y'all yeah. don't. I know y'all freaky niggas used to watch Real Sex back in the day. They used to be on them Real Sex episodes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. I got this one lady, man. I'm sorry, bro. She was a Scotty Barnes ex girlfriend. I ain't gonna say she need her ass beat, but she need a reality check. And I'm just gonna play the video. I'll go from there. I mean, definitely. She has nothing else to. Move. Let's play a little game. Put a finger down if you were dating your high school sweetheart for almost six years. You're holding it down for him while he's trying to make it to the NBA. He makes it to the NBA, so you move to another country to be there with him to support him, all while studying for your master's. One day out of the blue, he breaks up with you, and then months later, he gets a white girl pregnant. Just me? Oh, okay. It's a lot of intangibles to go with it. I'm not. I'm not for uh, niggas dating sun dodgers, man. I, I think all black sun men. Should, I think all black men should be with black queens, but I don't know, bro. It's like it might be a reason why. It, it's something that that older white woman got that he liked, bro. And I'm sorry, she said she was holding the nigga down when he was in the NBA, bro. Oh, getting trying to get to the NBA. I'm sorry, lady. You didn't make that nigga six seven. He was Scotty Barnes. Scotty Barnes is from he's from uh Florida. He was destined. He was gonna go to the NBA whether he was with you or not. Right, right. Scotty Barnes been a hooper, even though he, he, people roast him because they say he's autistic. That nigga know how to hoop. He definitely does, but yeah, yeah. He, he 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 got some <coughs> mental issues for sure. He went to one he went to uh one of the best schools, uh the Mount V, mm -hmm. one of the best basketball schools in Florida. He went there, he went to uh, yeah, he was destined. Yeah, he was, mean, he was. He was gonna go to the NBA, and she said, "Move to another country, bro." That nigga played for the Toronto Raptors, bro. I mean, technically. Come on, bro. That shit next to New York, bro. Yeah. That shit next to that shit outside Detroit. Yeah, bro. you can drive to it, <laughs> bro. If you miss an exit in Detroit, you are gonna be in Toronto. But you can also drive to Mexico. So. I feel you. Say, hey, man. Hey, hey, lady. It's I, I don't know, bro. She, she, she needs her ass beat for even going through all of this. Like, clearly, she looks good. You know what I'm saying? Like, move the fuck on. Hey, you gotta move on, bro. Move on. I'm sure you was around that nigga teammates and shit like that. If you want to be a basketball wife type shit, man, fish. Nigga, also, man. 
I ain't trying to say you should got to salute him, but he didn't string her along. He got the white woman pregnant. It was like, all right, this is off. Most what? niggas would have kept that, would have kept her ass with the, with the, be like, hey, accept my my outside baby. Well, from the story, it, it, I think they had already broken up. They had already separated, and then months later, he ended up getting her pregnant. <coughs> he might have been a victim of the game. Yeah. Got too happy in the pussy. You know, he he ain't all the way there. Yeah. It's, nigga went in there and knocked the screws loose. Hey, man, let's be real, man. The way she sounded, if this nigga hit her up and be like, hey, man, I know I got this white lady pregnant, but I want to take you back. You got to accept my... my uh, my oh let me not use that term. You gotta set my That's crazy. You you mm. my fault, y'all man. I be getting I be getting too comfortable on here sometimes. Nigga. You gotta you gotta set my uh <laughs> Alright, let's get the tag. I gotta take that up. That was crazy. <laughs> that was crazy. Oh my god. Nigga yeah. threw a slur out. <laughs> oh, I gotta get the tag on that, but yeah. That can't hit the air. That was Oh my god, I'll be getting too comfortable on here, y'all. Uh patreon.com slash Yeah, I I I will let that fly on the Patreon, but I can't let that fly on the main episode. Man. But you gotta accept my mixed baby and all that. She she the way she sounded, she'll be over there in a, a nanosecond. Yeah. I mean, this this don't end with because <coughs> even for the next nigga, like if the shit don't work out, you think I wanna be on a TikTok? <clears throat> That nigga don't care, bro. That nigga yeah, just signed up. Yeah, but I'm just saying, that like, nigga that just signed shit. Up max contract, bro. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, he don't give a fuck about it. <laughs> that nigga don't care, bro. That white lady might have been nicer, also. I don't know, bro. <laughs> well, it's it's more to the story. We never gonna get it because that nigga, the fuck that nigga, Scotty Barnes got to make a TikTok for. All right, bro. Um, I like real life street stars, but y'all running a circus over there between y'all niggas interviewing fucking Charleston White every day. Orlando Brown every day, fucking Jaguar Wright every day. I seen they interview some chick that said she was Tupac daughter. Now y'all interviewing this lady, man. This lady is clearly mentally ill. Talking about some she R. Kelly and Aaliyah daughter. How would you even have to prove something like that? I don't know, bro. She just mentally ill. That's why I said, man, real life street stars. I respect y'all, man. Y'all got a lot of subs, bro. But y'all running a circus over there, bro. Stop, <laughs> in, stop interviewing these clinically insane people. What made you want to share this information with the world? Because sometimes some people will know these things and they'll just they'll take it to their grave. I, even I, so, I sound like I'm crazy. I, I ain't gonna be hard you to prove, but face, bro. I know insane. from my heart and the fact that they went so hard to try to dispel what I was saying. You don't resemble R. Kelly Aaliyah to a T. Yeah. What would you say to that as far as someone saying that, hey, you don't look like your dad, you don't look like your mother. You know, normally I have two two words: mm -hmm. DNA and biology. It, everybody don't look like their parents. Everybody looks like somebody look like their grandparents. Somebody look like their great great grandparents or their great auntie. We that's how life is. And they do all kinds of wild shit, and then they fuck up, and then they want to erase reality yeah, like it Jaguar. never happened. Mm -hmm. right and there are so me. many of these children who are victims and casualty. Of their narcissistic sociopathic ways. I remember one time I was watching a Jaguar Wright uh, episode. He it was Jaguar Wright and Orlando Brown. Bro, I think I made it like six minutes into that shit. I was like, bro, I, what am I doing with my life? I need to live better, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga know. beat out almost had me uh, on the Jaguar right trade. I almost started watching the video. I was like, man, fuck. Don't though. listen to that nigga beat up, bro. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, you got some good ones in here. That uh, that 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 junk you want was crazy. I ain't trying to do all of them, bro. Cause I, I mean, got too many. I'm trying to save some for next week. I feel you. Uh, which one should I do? Which one you want? You want to do the junky one? Yeah, hey, this man, is insane. Wh Whippets done took over Atlanta, bro. Of course, yeah. they took over Atlanta. I know. They got a junkie hitting a whippet, and I'm gonna be honest, bro. That junkie done hit worse. Yeah. Hey, hit it. Hit it. Yo, the the terrible yo, part about this is yo, one of them niggas hit the whip. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, yo, 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 oh, y
Oh, yeah, we just do experiments and shit yeah. like that. Oh, we yeah. just do experiments. <laughs> we do experiments on crackheads. On bases. <laughs> All right, I got this. Uh, man, this, I ain't gonna play this a long video, man. That nigga Rollo was acting a fool at the uh, Rich Company Quan funeral, but nigga was going live. Man. I don't know if you watched the video, but like right, right, right. he that? was going live, and like one of the niggas that was behind him looked like he wanted to slap the shit out of him. I believe it. I don't go for Look at him. It's this part right here. Oh, we came in all white. You supposed to wear blood? <coughs> I, I thought I said Cass was this. Look at bro in the behind him, like, side of him. Like, bro, this nigga ignorant as fuck. Yeah. And we've all been to funerals. We know this part right here, when they about to bring him to the ground, that's the hardest part. All right. That's, like, the most serious part of the mm -hmm. funeral. And this nigga on IG Live, bro, this nigga's lame as Talking fuck, Talking shit about, like, what they should have been wearing. Talking yeah. about I should have came casually dressed. Yeah, bro. Nigga on a fucking Kango hat, dog. Nigga's a loser, bro. <laughs> Look at him. Look at the dude behind him. We're like, man, this stupid ass nigga, man. I don't know. He got his camera up, too. That nigga might have been trying to be in the line. No, I'm talking about that nigga to the left with oh, that bald yeah, yeah, head. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He looked like he ready to put a gun in that <laughs> nigga. <laughs> and that might be like a, that might be one of Rich Homie Kwan family members. That's real. He like, That's bro, real. what the fuck, bro? That's my cousin funeral. You acting weird, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. Even coming, like, to me, funerals should be a humbling <coughs> experience. You know what I'm saying? You coming out there with chains on, your mouth already full of diamonds and shit like that. Man, man have some, some humility. That's crazy. Man, I got this lady, man. This is crazy because she's, like, known on Twitter, bro. 32-year-old. I can't remember her Twitter name. But I came across her account today. I got a bunch of mutual followers of her. And I've definitely seen her before. And I definitely seen her posting her kids a lot. <coughs> she uh say thirty two year old Talika Brown of Saint Pleasant charged with attempted first degree murder for allegedly shooting her thirteen year old daughter yesterday. When she called police, she stated that her daughter was walking home from school and came home shot. That was a lie. That's funny. They wrote that bit like it was the Maury lie yeah, detector test. Yeah, that was yeah. Shoot, that bit. <laughs> that was a lie. That bit was a lie. Yeah, bro. Why would you shoot your thirteen year old daughter, bro? That that there's no excuse for that. And I seen like one of her home. I, I, yeah, one of her home girls was like, "Man, fuck y'all. Y'all don't know what happened." I was like, I don't think we need to know. Like the girl was shot multiple times. Really? Outside, and then she left. The mom. They didn't add that. The mom just left her there outside. Shot. Nigga, that's cruel, and, man. Some women ain't fit to be mothers. <clears throat> yeah, her last tweet is like some shit with like, I can't. She said, I'm looking for a man or some shit like that. And I'm like, well, you about to find, you about to find one. You about to find Big Bertha. <laughs> yeah. Her name going to be Gloria. <laughs> and what she got going to be uh, plastic. Hey, man, fellas, be safe out here. Yeah, brother that serious. sent brother that sent in that uh that uh that that uh what you call it, that email to us. Yeah, hopefully you're not going through what this right here. This young lady she tweeted, man, she told all on her homegirl. She said, "So a rapper came to my city and my friend fucked him backstage while her boyfriend was at the concert. Am I a bad friend if I snitch?" Follow a tweet. This is crazy right here. If I found out this was my girl, I would throw up everywhere. He said her legs were shaking while her 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 legs were shaking the whole car ride home. She had to cover with her sweater. He asked if she was cold. Yeah. Boy, that nigga put your girl through the mattress while you was outside. <laughs> bro, that nigga was Damn. the legs shaking, bro. That That's nigga put crazy. That, <laughs> That's crazy. That nigga put that Thor hammer on your girl, That's bro. That's crazy. While you was outside grooving to that nigga music, bro. That nigga just piping your girl now. Nigga, how how long was she gone? Nigga. Well, you wasn't worried. Nigga wasn't concerned at all. Like, bro, what's taking us so long? That nigga must have took that nigga girl to, to Pound Town in six minutes. 
Hey, shit, he ain't had no reason to be making love. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy, bro. I got, um, I, I finished with these, man. I got South Carolina and Missouri, Missouri. man. Y'all both need y'all ass beat. Y'all had two black men get executed after people, several people said they didn't do it and left a, a lot of um, evidence on them not doing it. Matter of fact, uh, Marcellus Williams, he was uh, executed today. Literally was framed for a murder that he didn't do. He right. didn't, they had the DNA on the knife. Wasn't his DNA. They just simply just went off two people saying he did it that didn't like him. And the other guy, somebody came out and t- testified that he lied, right? Yeah, Freddie, oh, Freddie Owen, somebody came out and said that they did it. They didn't want him. They didn't want to do the... They didn't want to go to jail. Yeah, yeah, they didn't want to go to jail for it. They admitted they did it. And it's crazy that these people, well, not these people. Oh, yeah, these people in these states, they have, like, enough time to overturn shit, and they just won't simply do it. Like, yep. that time when um, Tookie Williams was yep. about to get executed, yep. and um, Arnold Schwarzenegger was the governor, and he had a chance to, like, not... And he would... And, he knew Tookie Williams. They used to work out in together and shit back in the day. And he was like, man, I'm like, fuck it. Still execute that nigga. That's crazy. That shit crazy, bro. That's like, it's it's almost like a legal, like, lynching pretty much. Like, yes. Yeah. That's exactly what that is. That shit crazy, man. Yeah, you got too many. Yeah, I'm done, bro. I, I ain't it. got nothing this week. <clears throat> uh, let's do a couple of these submissions. I got Aaron. He said that. I mean, he got this one. This nigga. person definitely need their ass beat. I ain't never seen nobody in just three, five <coughs> got meals. Damn, this nigga, bro, how much this is? Nigga balling, bro. Nigga got three, five got burgers, fries, and a drink. Nigga, that's 15 guys. <laughs> also, this, pause. This that Ray Monte nigga. That's the, that's the gay nigga. So he probably, that, it probably yeah, not the pause. first time he had five guys in his mouth. <sighs> All right, so. um, That was, that was. <laughs> uh, next one from Grand National. Man, y'all y'all know I'll be watching the Jocelyn show, man. I'm gonna have to bring that back to the Patreon. Y'all been I gotta me. watch this shit. <laughs> Bro, this shit first of all this the, the I wonder I, why folks even go on this show. This girl, her name is Wet Wet. This is like our third she got she get beat up a lot. I believe she got beat up by that one girl. I don't know if you ever seen when the girl was doing like MMA moves. Mm-hmm. She got beat up by the girl. It was crazy because like Wet Wet was arguing with a girl. The next thing you know, the girl that was doing MMA, MMA moves, she just like came from like under. So just imagine, <laughs> imagine Wet Wet is in this room, yeah, and then the MMA girl, she just like under the table. And Wet Wet was like, man, fuck y'all bitches. And the MMA girl just slid from under the table <laughs> and just looking at her. That's funny And she was just hell. staring at her. And she was just like staring at her. And Wet Wet was like, what the fuck? Yeah, I And just, the girl just started doing all kind of like elbows and combinations on her ass. That's insane. You, can't, you, can't, you can't stop that. You bro, can't. she slid from under the table like the Terminator, <laughs> bro. She said... The defense is tough on that. <laughs> I would have ran, nigga. I would have like, okay. Yeah, hey, yeah. Nigga, y'all forgot me, nigga. <laughs> you got to do something. <clears throat> All right, so Wet Wet, man, we Wet Wet, you should know Jocelyn do cocaine. Yeah. I'm going to be honest also, she kind of tried, Jocelyn. Don't dust up the room, then dust me a bitch. That's real. Babe. Hey. I see you got on your way out for like you always do. Yeah. Well, you look great. <laughs> Jocelyn was ready to. I want to watch that episode. I don't know if that. I think it's like hey, the yo. next episode or whatever. That was like one of the leading. That that right there. I wasn't sure if I was gonna watch this season. Uh, uh, Jocelyn Cabaret, but that that sealed the deal. Yeah, that sealed the deal, man. Y'all know I like my low vibrational TV here and there. <laughs> oh, this is crazy. This is from Big Tim. This nigga, his name Old Measy. He pretty big on YouTube, but I don't. Bro, you don't even have, he got a lot of subs on YouTube, bro. You don't even gotta do all this, bro. He posted a picture of him lathered up in baby oil. And it says, sorry, I'm late to the P Diddy. The, I mean late to the party, P. Diddy. Link in bio. Yeah, nah, pause. And who is this? Oh, Measy. He a YouTube nigga. Yeah, he, cool he cool with them um <laughs> it's crazy. He cool with the amp niggas. 
when I say amp niggas, I don't mean me. <laughs> I mean the streaming amp niggas, like Kate, Tyson, and yeah. all them niggas. Uh, Alonzo. Well, this is, this is crazy. Nigga said that nigga had said, DoorDash price is so high, it make you want to dig in your ass and eat what you had last night. All right, that's the hell. I ain't never been that hungry, bro. <laughs> oh my god, ew. I don't think nobody been that hungry, bro. <laughs> oh, nigga. Yeah, bro, you tripping. You you too hungry, nigga. <laughs> bro, what's your GoFundMe? You my need nigga? a can drive, like can drive is crazy. <laughs> um this one from Sir Jeshua. I'm gonna be honest, Sir Jeshua. I don't know how they need their ass beat, bro. I think this is a real nigga ass to me. He said, landlord just did a viewing for our house and forgot about this in the bathroom. <laughs> so somebody just got a picture of, I think that's Gianna Michaels. Yeah, that's Gianna Michaels. Autographed picture, chilling in the bathroom. Hey, man. Hey, man. He, he respecting the legend. Hey, man. It's autographed. <coughs> you kind of got to put that in the frame somewhere. <laughs> The, oh, yeah, frame, the fact that the frame don't fit and the picture is covering someone is yeah. hilarious. I was just about to say, bro, who is that he covering? <laughs> that nigga covering his dead dad. But this being in the bathroom is egregious. <laughs> hey, man. It is nigga said, it. hey, it come with the house, man. Appreciate that shit. Yeah, we got to respect our legend. It's funny because the dude actually posted like a follow-up picture. He was like, this is the day that I got the picture. And he was taking a picture with Gianna Michaels and she was grabbing his meat. Wow. Yeah. Oh, hey. hey, man. Got to remember that shit. For real. Uh, I do this one from King. Yeah. Shawty need her and be for real. Josh, I just got married, but I'll leave my husband for you. She talking about Josh Allen, the dude that uh he killed us last night. She might be talking about the 786, but that's <laughs> up for debate. <laughs> yeah, it is a white woman. So we never know. Hey, man, I ain't know Josh Allen was Haitian, man. Oh, Isn't it that? does say P.S. He's <clears throat> right here, too. Yeah, man, I ain't know Josh Allen was Haitian, bro. He ate the fuck out of the cat last night. <laughs> but um, That, that, that. That was great. <laughs> oh, yeah. But they got, beat the snot out of us. Well, they tore us out of the frame. I stopped watching once they once that shit got to, like, 13 to, like, yeah, zero. Yeah, man, I ended up going out to a restaurant with my girl, <coughs> and they had that shit on. I... Bruh, when I seen the score, I turn it go. off. Yeah, I was like, why the fuck are y'all still open? Oh, once I actually I turned it off once he threw that interception to Demar Hamlin. Yeah. Oh right, yeah, you cut this off, bro. You <laughs> going bullshit, bro? <laughs> Might be over for them Jags, bro. Oh, nigga. Oh yeah, if you we in the AFC, if you zero and three in the AFC, it's a wrap. Bro. It's a wrap. Yeah, bro. It's too it's too many fire teams in the AFC, bro. You can't be. Now, what you call it is zero and three. Um, I believe the Ravens are zero and three, or they might be two and one and two. I don't Them think niggas, the Ravens is zero and three. Hold on, let me see. Let me see. I know they lost two games though. I don't know. Hold on, let me see. Let me see. Let's see what the Ravens is. My point is whether they one and two or they zero and three. That nigga Lamar Jackson is fire, so yeah. he he can he can get out the hole. It's been seasons where the the Chiefs started zero and three, yeah. still won the Super Bowl. They got elite, they got elite offense and defense, so they could get out that hole. We mm-hmm. got none of that, so we start off in a hole. It's over. Boy, them niggas ain't got no will to win. Got an ass coach. What you call it, Doug? He be looking like he a fucking alcoholic. That nigga be looking confused on the sideline. Hey, <laughs> hey, what did they call? Yeah, them, uh, yeah, them Ravens. They wanted to. Damn. Yeah, yeah. That's what that nigga be calling up to the uh, to the office to say. I hate how um he let Press Taylor have so much fucking power on offense. Yeah. Like the nigga stink, bro. Like, put your foot down. You the coach. <sighs> I think I'm gonna just do this this last one. This one from uh, Aaron. Uh, this nigga uh, Michael Eric Dyson man, he got caught out here being a coon. Mm-hmm. So he called this um, this uh, lady uh, Nancy Macy called her a uh, I think he called a her racist. A, a racist cracker or some shit like that. And she said, "Oh, Ben, I'm a racist cracker. I got I got you shooting your shot." 
I would like to also <coughs> enter into the record a screenshot of a text message I received from the uh, esteemed professor from Vanderbilt, Michael Eric Dyson, after my CNN interview, <coughs> begged me for photos. In this text, he says, after calling me a uh, racist on CNN, Shh, don't tell anybody, we look good together, and sent me a kissy emoji. Without then objection. The guy, the guy says, order. I'm gorgeous in all these photos. I don't think he's that bent out of shape on how anyone pronounces Kamala. Uh, and if we're going to have that standard, you got to hold it to both sides, not just one or the, one or the other. Hey, man. That's crazy. Michael Eric Dyson, you as well, and for sure. You shouldn't have taken that picture regardless. I you mean, should have known she was going to expose him. I'm also, I'm also going to say this, man. I don't know. I heard this, but I heard racist women got the best coochie. But um, this has been another episode of Random Acts of Podcast. <laughs> it's your boy, Ampavelli, man. Mr. Jefferson, y'all know what it is. <laughs> you see, Joe didn't object to it, so he heard the same thing, man. I heard they, I heard they screamers. I ain't tried it. I heard, <laughs> I heard they screamers too, but they just, they just come with a little racism. I don't know, bro. I, I'll never find. You might out. hear niggas. <laughs> Some of y'all niggas might like that shit, bro. I don't know, bro. Nigga, Josh, nigga, Josh, another shot at Josh, man. <laughs> hey, man, with all that said, man, we out, bro. <laughs>